guys welcome welcome back to my channel it's been a while eh? it's been a couple of days but i hope you're all keeping well guys yeah what can i say it's do or die at the moment yeah we got like the games that are left in the premier league the games that are left for arsenal to play it's honestly like just a load of cup finals you know what i mean it's like that it's do or die in every single match city luton and of course today away to brighton um there's a certain amount of pressure on the team today because of course um we're down into third now after manchester city won um and of course liverpool have been in good form so we have it all to do today yeah? we need to win we need to win we need to win at all costs to have any chance of lifting the title in may we need a victory um I'm nervous before the game, I'm not gonna lie. I know that I know it sounds like wrong talk day, guys. I'm repeating myself every single time. But I'm honestly apprehensive about today's game. The way that Brighton performed against Liverpool, okay, in the end they got uh, they got overwhelmed, they got beaten. But I saw enough in that game to cause me uh, for cause to cause concern, guys. We're away against them now. Um they haven't got me Toma, fair enough, but they're still a good team in my opinion. Um, they're going to cause problems. There's no doubt about that. Um, this is a good team. Yeah, Danny Welbeck. You know what I mean? Just got a message there from Anthony. One second, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna start anyways, always, guys, by thanking everybody for your continued support, your likes, your subscribes, and your comments. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, big up, yeah. Just got a message there, guys, from Anthony. Big up to Anthony. Thank you for your support. I'm going to go through the rest of the Premier League games in a while. Um, the local team here where I am in Switzerland, FC Winterthur. Winterthur, guys. They are actually pushing for top four in the Swiss League. Whereas that was unheralded before I left, yeah. They were in the second division. No, they're in the top league. They're in the first division in Switzerland, yeah. Super League, and they're pushing for top four, believe it or not. So incredible, incredible, incredible. Yeah, they've been on a big run, and they're they're matching guys with all the big teams out there. All of the big teams are they're stepping up. Anyway, big up to McManus, guys. I want to thank you for your comment when I was off here. Smash the likes and subscribe to the old school gunner. He loves a dinosaur. That's the mascot, guys. Yeah, that's Gunnosaurus. The Arsenal mascot. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people love him, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not the only one, right? Anyway. AFC always. It's Raya, White, Sinchenko. Sinchenko. Gabriel, Saliba, Rice, Jorginho, Odegaard, Jesus, Saka, and of course, Kai Havertz. Yeah, you won, right? Yeah, they won. They beat Fulham 1-0. Going to be a tough game. Just hope we can get a win today. Big up to you anyway, Jordy, man. Respect, yeah? A good win today, man. A good win. A good win against Fulham, bro. I mean, away to Fulham. I used to live very close to the Fulham Stadium, yeah, when I was living in London. Of course, I left two months ago, yeah? Um, but yeah, I left London two months ago, yeah, but when I was living there, I lived very close to the Fulham Stadium, yeah. I used to do a bit of fitness going past there every day. Well, at the weekends, not every day, but at the weekends. So, yeah. But yeah, come on, Arsenal. Uh, we need to win this one. If we actually win it, we're going to go back top. Newcastle, now up to eight. You know what I mean? I don't think has that... Uh... Has that actually, um, I don't think it actually has. I don't think they're actually after updating the league standings. Uh. No, they haven't. I mean, it's Newcastle around 50 points, right? I don't think they've updated it. Just one point behind United. Ah, then they have updated it, uh. 
Yeah, just one point behind United. Fucking happy days, man. Seriously. But yeah, big up to Newcastle. Huh? They're going well right now. They're going well right now. Yeah, they could catch them, yeah. I mean, United got a bit of a land recently, yeah. They got a bit of a shock in the game against Chelsea. I mean, the way they lost it at the end was just... Their defending has been shocking. You know what I mean? Not to take anything away from Newcastle's charge. But uh, a good win for Newcastle today, yeah. And a good defensive performance. I haven't seen any of the game. I haven't seen any of the highlights. I was out earlier. But I mean, um, yeah. The Liverpool game is tomorrow, Jordy. The Liverpool match is tomorrow, yeah. But yeah, you hope that Liverpool beat United. I think there's a very good chance Liverpool will beat them because they're pushing for the league title. The club is going to have them well up for it. Um, and the way United have been defending recently, the way United have been defending recently, unreal. Yeah, that game is tomorrow, bro, but I know what you mean. Yeah, you hope they win, yeah. Big up, Dave. Are you live? All I can see is a cock. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's not a Spurs cock, is it? <laughs> Anthony, what you think The fitness regime, you know what I mean? It won't be helpful for you, though. Yeah, it won't be helpful if Liverpool beat the uh, beat United, but um, I would take some pleasure in it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, United have been humbled recently. Yeah, like I remember back in the day, bro. I mean, I'm gonna go back a long time now. Yeah, and I know that Anthony remembers this too. Yeah, I don't know if you remember it, but Anthony, back in the day, bro, it was like us in United. Yeah, Vieira, Keane. I mean, some fierce battles. Yeah, Wenger against Ferguson. And to be honest, they were United fans were quite, you know. I used to date a United fan. I used to date a Man United fan, yeah. And she was, you know, a nice person. But when it came to the football, then she was just uh, not going to say on my channel, yeah. But honestly, they they need to be humbled, yeah? and they are being humbled. I mean, it's nice to see them getting humbled, and I think they will be humbled tomorrow. I mean, I think Liverpool will put them to the sword, yeah? but we'll see. Oh, tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow, bro. Seeing more muscle on a stick insect. Laugh out loud. Takes one to know one, Anthony. Takes one to know one. You know what I mean? I gave myself a haircut, guys. What do you think? I did this myself, yeah? Well, a bit bald there on top, but don't worry about that. But I did it myself. What do you think? It's not bad, right? All the same length with the rails are like. I used to take it to the bone last summer when I was in London, but uh, now with work here, I want to, you know, I want to have the right. Uh, Joe, I want to show the right example. But yeah, uh, seeing more muscle on a stick insect. Mm. Fucking hell, put that cap back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man whatever all right guys all right let's look at the league guys okay so liverpool are top 30 games played 70 points and it's man city 31 games played 70 points after that win today arsenal third we have a game in hand on city we're 11 on games at liverpool on 68 points so we need to beat brighton today yeah? there's no doubt about that i think it's going to be a very hard game um, Anthony is confident. He's gone for a 3 1. I just think it's going to be tough, man. I mean, I saw enough in the Liverpool game that it gave me cause for concern. You know what I mean? I see that I finished Palace 2, Man City 4, of course. Villa 3, Brentford 3. Everton 1, Burnley 0. Good win for Everton. Great win for Newcastle. Big up to Jordy, man. Newcastle 1, Fulham 0. Luton 2, Bournemouth 1. Maybe Luton have a chance, yeah? Maybe they actually still have a chance to stay up. That win, man. That win will do a lot for Luton. You know what I mean? Maybe they actually have a chance of staying up. 
All right, AFC always. What's going on, man? I hope you're keeping well, yeah? Surprise, Sinchenko is starting. Wonder, is Arteta saving KVR for the Bayern game on Tuesday? Honestly, I don't want to sound arrogant, but I don't think we need to we need to rest KVR because Bayern just got beaten by the bottom team in Germany. As far as I know, they are the bottom team in Germany, yeah? have beaten Bayern 3-2. All Leverkusen need to do in their last, in the next six games, yeah, their last six games, all Leverkusen need to do is win one. That's all they have to do, yeah. All Leverkusen have to do is win one of their last six games, and they are champions in Germany. Bayern lost to the bottom team in the league today, guys. So I honestly don't think we need to rescue QVR. And Zinchenko is a liability. A complete liability. Sinchenko is crap at defending. He is diabolical. And Kivior has come on in leaps and bounds in the last six weeks. I mean, he's been an animal since the turn of the year. And the guy's actually physically robust. He's up for it. I wouldn't say he's like Rodri or Stones, but I mean, maybe even... I don't know, he's... I'm not going to compare him to those players, huh? but I mean, Kivior is rangy. He's a big guy you know what i mean and he can put his foot in and he can ride a challenge and he's difficult to get past you know what i mean he doesn't let, he doesn't let players get around the back he doesn't let them get beyond them sometimes it's not pretty but it's effective he's been good man i don't know why he's playing sinchenko sinchenko is a complete melt i mean we need a guy that can defend prove me wrong sinchenko bro score a hat trick do something you know what i mean I'm going 2-1 Arsenal. Let me ask you this, guys. Did any of you watch their game against Liverpool, yeah? the Brighton-Liverpool game? Of course, they got an early goal through, uh, through ex-Arsenal player Danny Welbeck, yeah? but they ended up losing 2-1. But what did you make of that? Yeah? What did you make of that? Yeah, Zinchenko starting here, McManus, bro. Guys, first of all, anyway, yeah? first of all, Check out this man's channel, yeah, and do yourselves a favor. Um, it's a gaming channel, of course. He will be creating some content tonight. Maybe he wants to let me know the time. Maybe 10 p.m. I think normally is the thing. Maybe sooner. But if you want to check out his content, please do. Um, he has a gaming channel, and at the moment he just finished doing GTA, Grand Theft Auto V, and now he is doing Red Dead Redemption Two. So if any of you were a fan of that game, you want to watch some um, entertaining gaming, you want to watch an entertaining channel, then this is the channel for you, yeah? Smash the like and subscribe to his channel. Yeah? I finally got the... This is away from football, no guys, huh? I finally got the date for my two biopsies next. Uh, I'm nervous, I can't lie. Yeah, and when is the date, if you don't mind me asking? When is the actual date? Um... Yeah, I understand you being nervous. Yeah? I would be too, no doubt, straight up. But um, you know what? It's better to get it, like, it's better now that it's coming forward. Yeah? It's better that it's coming forward. You know what I mean? At least now you know the days and you can prepare for that. You know what I mean? Um, let's face it, it had to happen, right? I mean, you have to get it done. So, look, take the positives from it, yeah? At least you know now when. And obviously you know where. You know what I mean? Take some kind of, take some, um, yeah, take something positive from that, yeah? Take something positive from that. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, play it off yeah like it's not a big thing bro of course it is a this is serious business serious situation but take something positive from this no yeah that at least you know when and where you know because it's necessary you need you need to go through it anyway you know what i mean see the thing is bro with people like i do the same myself yeah i know it's a serious situation i'm not going to downplay it it's a serious business but we always, in our minds, the more we think of a problem, we make it 10 times worse. It's like that. You know what I mean? 
So, I mean, at least you're on our date and you could focus towards it because I can just imagine the thoughts that were running through your mind, man, when you weren't knowing when, you know what I mean? Because we tend to, we tend to think about problems and like a problem shared is a problem halved, you know what it's saying? But in our minds, when we keep it to ourselves and when we overthink it, we tend to make the problem a lot worse. At least now you know and you can focus on it, you know. Um, I know it's difficult. I know it's your health, not mine. But try not to try not to think about it too much. Uh, I know that's difficult, though. But big up to you, man. Yeah? Big up to you. You need to talk to us. We're here, yeah. I mean... But I'm glad you said something, yeah, because you shouldn't keep things like this to yourself. You know what I mean? Big up to you, man. Yeah. Like I said, um, you're a good person, man. If there's anything we can do, just let us know, yeah. If you ever need to talk, if you ever need to give me a call, I'll drop you my phone number and you can ring me on uh, WhatsApp or give me your number, I can ring you. Do you know what I mean? If you want to talk about things, I'm here. You know what I mean? All right, man. That comes from the heart. Eh? You're a good person, man. Don't overthink things regarding the situation, yeah? because like I said, as people, we tend to, you know what I mean, we stress ourselves out like crazy about things. Now, I know it's a serious situation, man. I get it, yeah? but, you know, it's human nature. Eh? We tend to do that. I do the same thing. Um, May 13th, yeah? T-S-I-G. All right. Cool. What's she got there? Um, Dave McMahon, I know what you're saying. The waiting has been horrendous. Yeah, man, it's the not knowing, man. It's the not knowing. Come to hit a like. Let's go. Mass Live 2, C-O-I-G. Good lineup and live carding world championships from Swiss. Canada 6. Are Switzerland in it? Are they knocked out? Or what's going on with that? It's not far from me here. Yeah. Like, Switzerland is small. I know the city it's been held in. Yeah. I've been there many times. I actually like that city, Schaffhausen. I like Schaffhausen. Or as they say in Switzerland, Schaffhausen. It's not far from the border with Germany. Yeah. But um, Schaffhausen, I actually like that city. They have a great kind of like a castle on the top of a hill. They call it the Munot. And at the bottom, they have deer grazing. And there's like um, there's like a moat with like a land bridge. Like a drawbridge with a moat. Obviously, there's no water in it. And that's where the deers are actually grazing. And then you've got the hill, the moonut, and on top there's like a, a castle, like a fortress. It's cool. Schaffhausen is a nice Schaffhausen is a nice city, but it's very small. <laughs> it's like a village. Uh, it's like a village. All right, guys. Uh, not sure. Italy versus Sweden. Do Italy do curling? It's not Schaffhausen, man. It's Schaffhausen. <laughs> Easy now, bro. <laughs> Schaffhausen now. But it's a very small place, yeah. A very, very small city, bro. It is a city, but it's tiny. It's like <laughs> three streets <laughs> and then back around. Think can be a bit rough there. I'm not going to lie. I know a few people that went there and got the absolute uh, crap eaten out of them, man. Eh? In a pub, like they weren't doing that. Well, I wouldn't say they weren't doing anything, I wasn't there, but the guys themselves are a bit you know, when they get drunk, they can be a bit, you know. But yeah, I know a few fellas that went there and got the absolute shit kicked out of them guys. They got kicked from one end of the road to the other. No joke. They were out of their own city, you see, they were in another city. Some guys in a bar took a dislike to them and just broke them up. Broke them in two, yeah. Anyway. They were obviously doing something, though, I'd say. They were being a bit fucking... They obviously pissed people off, huh? Eh? see always, I know, bro. Let me get to you. Sorry for you, bro. All right, Lee, man. What's going on? What is going on, man? I hope you're keeping well, yeah? Guys, if you haven't checked out this man's channel, yeah? Football Dad's Army. Do yourselves a favor, yeah? Laugh at low Schafthausen. Don't fuck with them. <laughs> Curling weather, a little too hot for the ice making, but Canada still still win. 
What a goal rush. That was five matches. Intense drama. Wow, late wins. Should join sometime as you get the matches now, you in Switzerland. Yeah, I can I can watch the games. Oh, you mean the curling or what? Or the Swiss Football League? I can actually watch the games now, yeah, but obviously I don't have a TV, yeah, so I could watch it here on the laptop or maybe on the tablet, you know, and hook into SRF. SRF is the channel here, yeah. SRF, you know what I mean? Schweitzer Radio Fernseher. Swiss Radio Television. That's the channel, yeah. SRF. So if you go on the SRF site, website, now you can watch it live, yeah. You can watch it live online because it's on the TV. But when I get set up here and I get settled into my job and this and that, then I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little set up for myself, you know, and I'm gonna maybe stay here for maybe a year or a house here for maybe a year, and then after that get a little place of my own. You know what I mean? Our combined streams, yes, I meant it. Yeah, we can, man. No bother. Yeah, our goal rush, the match day live. I've been crazy busy recently with all the job shit, you know what I mean? Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. That's when I've been up to one, yeah. But Kaya Saka starts as Arsenal aim to return to the top of the Premier League. Jesus, guys, I'm nervous, I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get into the game. Let's see what's going on. It's time to take care of business. It's time to take out the trash. My prediction, I'm expecting a tough game. I am expecting a real battle. Um, yeah, I think they're I think they're a dangerous side, uh, Brighton. People will probably laugh at me saying that. No, yeah, when the way Arsenal have been playing recently, and the way we put we put at least some kind of manners on Man City, but um, I honestly think it's going to be a tough one. I think it's going to be tough, but we'll have to see. You here's hoping. Yeah, what do you think of Bayern Munich, guys? They got beaten 3-2. They got beaten 3-2. They got the manners put on them, like I said. And now all Everkusen need to do is win one of their last six of their champions. So obviously that's going to happen. Huh? They're showing the Premier League here that they're promoting themselves in the U.S., That like some musical event. Adios going live. Thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. I'll drop a couple of messages there. One second. Uh... All right. Not long now, guys, to the kickoff. Won't be long at all. Seven minutes to go. All right, not long at all. Just one second. Uh, that should be interesting, yeah? Huh? All right, let's see. Here's hoping, huh? Here's hoping, guys. Here's hoping. Aguna Matata is doing a watch along as well. Aguna Matata is doing a watch along. Guna Matara. He's live. Go on, Guna Matara. They're live here, guys, from Nashville in Tennessee. There's like a Premier League uh, 
promotion going on. See some Newcastle fans now. They're all over in Nashville, guys. Tennessee. Alan Shearer's there. Robbie Musto. They're doing a promotion, eh? Big up the Aguna Matata. All right, guys, not long to go. OSG is back and better. <laughs> yeah, and I gave myself an old bazaroo. I gave myself an old haircut as well. I trimmed the all. Uh, I trimmed the all hair, guys. So there you go. Because I'm starting my new job on Monday, so I just you know I needed it to be a bit shorter. Hell of a hot day today, guys. Like look out the window there. It's been some hot day today, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was out there a while ago. Fucking hell. Great weekend for me. Got the footy and the wrestling later. A WWF or is it the is it WrestleMania or what is it? Is it like a special event or is it WCW or is it WWF and is it WrestleMania? Because I, I'll be honest, I'm not too into the, I'm not too not into it, but I'm not too up on the wrestling now. Is it the WrestleMania? No, it's not WrestleMania. Two nil awesome league guys. If you haven't come check out the man's channel, yeah. I see he's going to do a stream about the Champions League match. Huh? Honestly, Arsenal against Bayern. I think we have a chance. If Thomas Tuchel is still manager, if Thomas Tuchel is still manager, I honestly think that uh, Arsenal uh, have a chance because they're after losing to the bottom team in Germany today. And now the league is Leverkusen's. They need to just win one of the last six Leverkusen. Granit Xhaka will be a champion. And Harry Kane... The curse of the Spurs, guys. All right, the players coming out, guys. Arsenal, I think they're going to wet themselves. McManus, I'm going 2 1 to us, but it'll be a close game. I think it's going to be tough. I really don't know why Zinchenko is playing there. Not long to go, guys. Won't be long now.
It's a Premier League morning's live thing going on in Nashville. The Tennessee Titans manager, I'm saying it. Nashville Fan Fest 2024. Nashville is full of Arsenal fans, guys. Alan Shearer was there. Robbie Musto. They're trying to do like promoting the Premier League in America. Yeah? Here we go. Let's see what they can do. Ben White and Trossard back at Brighton. Tough game coming. Tough game coming. Ben White and Trossard back at Brighton. Tough game coming, guys. Let's have it right. This is going to be a tough one. Huh? Come on, Danny Welbeck scoring OG. Arsenal players taking the knee. Here we go. No room for racism, guys. All right, here we go. Arsenal have not lost this side of the year in the Premier League, guys. Nine wins and a draw. But this race is unrelenting. There we go. Brighton at home, guys, as we know, is a formidable opponent. Set piece statistics in the Premier League, guys. 19 goals have occurred. Ordegaard to deliver. Jesus outside. Ball in. Oh! I was so close from Gabriel. Exactly. I said the same thing. Uh, I said the same thing, bro. Oh, you know what I mean? Literally. I was so close. Crazy. That was a big miss. Such a powerful header. Ferocious header. Huh? That was some header. Oof. David Rea. Baliba, yeah, the danger man against Liverpool. David Reyes sliced the clearance, but uh, he got away with it. Let me just come and drop a bit of support, guys, to Moss Sports World. He's doing a stream at the moment. Let me drop a little bit of support. I didn't haven't been beaten guys at this stadium for a long long time
Jorginho has got a bit of a knock, guys. He's gone down to the back of his neck by the looks of it. Play held up. But what a ball in from Odegaard. And what a header just passed. Yeah, McManus bro, Jesus was Yeah, Gabriel was so close, huh? Gabriel was so close. Jorginho, is he coming off? Is he injured? This is not exactly the start that we need, huh? I mean to put it mildly, this is not the start that we need. Putting it mildly. All right, so there we go. Let's see what's going on. Brighton nil, Arsenal nil. Definitely that little stoppage. Gee, I'm so glad I'm nervous. I just had to get that out there, guys. Sorry, I'm just so goddamn nervous right now. Seriously, look at the color of my face. Fuck, I just feel tingly, man, all over. You know what I mean? Seriously. I mean... This is a big one. This is a big one. Every game just seems to be just energy zapping these days. Just watching it, I mean, emotionally. Watching it, yeah? Emotionally. Every every game just seems to be ener energy zapping. I don't know what the story is with playing Zinchenko. I think that's a mistake. I know they might want to save Kivior for the game against Byron. But I honestly don't think he needs a rest. Unless there's something I'm not aware of. I don't think he needs a rest. Kivior does not need a rest, in my opinion. Oh, I'm goddamn nervous. Jesus, Raya's, Raya's kickouts might have been all over the shop. All right, good players, Zinchenko. But Raya's kickouts have been all over the shop. They've been all over the gaff. But yeah, Raya's kickouts, man, have been fucking... Just keep the ball away from him for the next five minutes. That's what I say. Honestly, this is the kind of team now that if we like, if we went one 0 down against them, like Liverpool, we could have a battle to get back into it. Uh, a real battle. Okay, the the ball in from Sinchenko was good. Yeah, it was defeat, but the player couldn't hold it, and he got his pocket picked. But the defender was right on him. I mean, Lamptey, I think it was. Good one too from Brighton, but oh shit. You know, we, we need oh shit. Ooh, nice move. Nice move by Brighton. That's some good football. Nice move. Sweet. Thank you for the DM. I really appreciate that, my friend. Ah, you're welcome, man. No problem, man. Least I could do, man. Least I could do. I mean, 
Fuck. Least I could do, yeah. Least I could do. Hmm. Yeah, something's more important, bro, than fucking football or this or that. Huh? Do you know what I mean? We're in trouble. Yeah. It was always going to be a tough game, yeah. But once we get the win, is all that matters. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Just get the win and take the three points. Jesus, Brighton, really honest. Yeah, they're at home, bro. I the Liverpool game, I saw a lot in that game. Like I said before, before this game started, when I was on the stream, I saw enough in the Liverpool game to give me cause for concern. I don't think Liverpool played bad, but for certain periods of the game, they were made to look ineffective. You know, they were under pressure. Salah was under pressure with the chances he had. In the end, he did the business, but he needed like eight attempts. Excuse me. I just think, uh, I honestly just think that we could be, um, we could be in a bit of trouble here. Huh? Like I said, I'd seen enough in the game against Liverpool to give me cause for concern. You know, they lost 2 1. They got beaten in the end against Liverpool, but for a long time they were causing Liverpool problems. Huh? Brighton playing like the other ones in the title race. Well, they can pass the ball, yeah, and they can move from, from the back to the front. They did it against Liverpool as well. I keep mentioning the Liverpool game, guys, because, of course, that was the last game i seen them. They have lost only once at home this season. Yeah, like I was up about earlier, guys, and I think I dropped, I think it was McManus, I dropped you a voice message on WhatsApp, yeah, and as I was out and about, I was I was taking a walk for myself, guys, in the glorious weather here. And, um, yeah, like I think I was saying to you at the time, man, it's not just the big games that we lost last season that cost us, or the draws. It was also the smaller games that would all due respect against the smaller teams that cost us, and these are one of these teams last season that cost us, albeit at the Emirates, Brighton beat us 3 now when we were pushing for the league. Here we go. Come on, Saka. Go, bro. That was a good chance. Ah, oh, Saka, man. He had to score there. I think it was Lamptey played him on side, but he had to score there. Yeah, the right back played him on, yeah. He got the defender close to him. The space was there on his left foot. Player of his ability, he did the step over and he curled it just past the post. <sighs> Pressure's on, guys. Pressure is on. I mean, but we have time. But let's keep it at nil-nil, yeah. Let's not concede. <sighs> Putting the pressure on. He's a good keeper, the Brighton keeper. I was well impressed with him against Liverpool. If it wasn't for him, they would have got absolutely mashed up. I'm feeling nervous, I'm not going to lie. Excuse me, guys.
Despite the nil, Arsenal nil, guys. Arsenal finding our passing out, finding a few little spaces. Jorginho Havertz, he's in the box, looking for a pass. Ah, oh, for fuck, lads. Fuck, boy. We got a lot of chances there. Yeah, we're, we're pouring on the fucking pressure and we're getting in behind nicely. Good movement. Good ability. Good little passing. Nice from Havertz. Good ball in. Yeah, where's that striker we needed? You know what I mean? Where's the striker we should have bought? I don't want to fucking... But it's pure evident. Where's the animal of a striker that we needed? Like, look at all the chances we created there. Look at all the chances we had there in that period. Let me turn on the light here. It's getting a bit dark, guys. But look at the chances we had there. Fuck, I don't know, but... Oh, we had a lot of chances there. Huh? I'm, all, I'm all gangster today, guys, you know? I'm all gangster, guys, aren't I? I'm pimping myself out. Pimping myself out? What the fuck am I talking about? I'm pimping myself out. What the fuck am I talking about? Interesting game. That was a good chance for Brighton. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. We're feeling the pressure, huh? We're feeling the pressure. All right, Damon, what's going on, man? How are you getting on, yeah? Good win for City earlier, Damon. I hope you're keeping well, man. Good win earlier, yeah. Good win, man. I hope you're doing well, yeah. I hope you're having a nice weekend so far. And congratulations on winning that trophy, yeah. Big up to you, man. Congratulations on winning that trophy, Damon. Well deserved, man. Well deserved. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have the ability, guys, to play this switch pass. They're very good in position. Very good at moving the ball around. I have to say, they're quite a good team. They're at home. Oh, God. God help us is all I can say anyway. Come on, Arsenal. Come on. We need this one. Oh, I apologies. Sorry, guys. Gonna be on there. Kai Havertz dispossessed. Brighton moving the ball out. Good positioning again by Dunk. Excuse me, guys. Jesus. Oh, 
20 minutes gone guys nil nil we have a lot of time yeah but they look like they're keeping their cool but let's let's try not to get rattled anyway let's try not to get rattled you know what i mean because they would love to rattle us and upset us so i'm sure that's on their mind yeah they would love to rattle us and upset us just can't let them do that though All right, Damon, what's going on, man? I hope you're keeping well. Guys, if you haven't, check out this man's channel, yeah, this young man's channel. We just finished half of the cup final, still got one more to go. Ah, cool. Best of luck, yeah, best of luck. And remember, man, the same advice from the last time. Don't get yourself sent off, yeah. Stay on the field. Help the team, you know what I mean? I said this for ages, need a striker. Why the fuck didn't we buy one? But good news, everyone, Dave's pimping himself out. What was I talking about when I said that? What was I actually talking about? I'm pimping myself out. Where was I going with that one? For God's sake, like a million chances there. The team are getting frustrated. Fuck. We're in a bit of trouble here, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, we're, we're finding the chances very easy to come by, but we're not taking them. I feel fucking nervous, but I'm not going to lie. I guess. Yeah, we're struggling badly. It's 1 1. Fans are really supporting us, but yeah, hopefully, don't get sent off. Yeah, make it your business not to get sent off, bro. Make it your business. You know what I mean? Make it your business not to get sent off. It's down to you, man. This RB looking a bit, uh, he's remonstrating, guys. He's looking animated down there. Yeah, I don't think this RB is going to be uh, the Jurgen Club's successor, you know. He's falling down the pecking list. It's definitely not going to be uh, Xavi Alonso, isn't it? He's happy enough for the Leverkusen, which I can understand. But here we go. Brighton. Welbeck. Adingra. Raya takes it. Slick from Brighton again. Eh? They're moving the ball well. Very slick play. It's the sporting manager, he's already been confirmed. Ah, okay. The sporting the sporting manager is going to be the new Liverpool manager. Come on. Oh, come on. We have it in yeah, but we're just not finishing it. We're just picking the wrong move or we're opening them up, yeah. But we're not being clinical. But we are opening them up.
concerning guys 25 minutes gone nil nil big up to everybody for tuning in yeah i appreciate it big up to all of you guys eh? seven people watching guys smash the like in this video of me eh? sub if you haven't already lampty between raya and the ball raya looks hurt lampty's gone down lampty's gone down and raya got hurt Lampty's in a bit of pain there. It's a little flick from Welbeck. It was awkward. Yeah, Lampty lost his foot and he slid in. Zinchenko giving no protection to the goalkeeper. I mean, Zinchenko's got to protect the goalkeeper there. Zinchenko giving no protection to the keeper. I don't understand. Man United was a joke when they played Chelsea. Like, how did they bottle that? Shocking defending, man. Shocking defending is basically what it was. The defending was all over the place. The defending was just all over the shop. That's basically what was going on out there. From what I could see. From what I could see anyway. Ah, oh, man. What's going on with the team, bro? Dunk, Welbeck, Arsenal fighting hard to get it clear. Battling to get the ball out. Calibra are doing all right, guys. But uh, anyways, got to go for the second half. I'll pop on a full-time too, man. And take it easy, yeah? And keep calm, yeah? Keep yourself on the field, bro. Don't get yourself sent off, yeah? Be cool. Help the team, yeah? Help the team. Just keep yourself, you know what I mean? If they try to rattle you, man, just take a deep breath and step back. Just walk away, man. Let the ref deal with whatever. But if they try to rattle you, just walk off, yeah. Just walk away from them, man. You know what I mean? They're trying to wind you up, man. They want to stop you from playing because you're a good player. Don't rise to the base. Just walk away from them. And play your game, man. Play your game. Keep with the game plan, yeah. Well, yeah, taking something there. I don't know what it is. I think it's a performance enhancing steroid or something. Well, yeah, was given something there. Maybe like a painkiller. I don't know what. But he was given something. <laughs> like a tablet or something. <laughs> I think it's one of the same tablets that Paul Pogba took. <laughs> Some adrenaline. <laughs> a bit of testosterone, is it? They just say sneaking sneaking right some testosterone. Uh be fucking hilarious, man. If they were actually doing that, like <laughs> giving the players testosterone and fucking adrenaline. <laughs> just like Pogba, yeah. <laughs> Ah, that'd be fucking funny, actually. The fans going with the Super Mick Arteta song. We fucking need Super Mick Arteta, no? Arsenal got a free kick, guys. 28 minutes gone. They have it in defence. They're halfway in their own half, and they're charging forward now. In the centre circle, guys, looking for something to move, to happen. Looking for a bit of movement. That was Jorginho. Back to him. Sinchenko. Jorginho looking for it. Jorginho, nice. Tried to tread it through the eye of a needle, guys. Arsenal getting frustrated. Need to keep their cool. Well, this is a difficult enough game, man.
Or too slow, you fucking got that right. Penalty to Arsenal, you're fucking joking. Fuck, I don't know. We got a bit of luck there, guys, I think. Let's have a look and see. Nine people watching, guys. Smash the like button for me, yeah? Smash the subscribe. I am monetized if you want to donate some money. Please do. All right, guys. Sack had to take the penalty. If we don't get this penalty, Brighton will win. Don't let me know if we score or not, guys, because I think my stream is behind there. Don't put it in the chats if we score or not. Until I say it there. Don't tell me in the chats, guys, if he scores or not. Okay? Don't put it in the chat, guys, if he scores, because let me have a look. I want it to be a surprise. There we go. Saka stepping up to take the penalty. If he misses this, Brighton will win. The fans behind the goal trying to put him off. He looks nervous. Ah, I know he scores. Just came in on my phone. All good, guys. No worry. So we keep going, guys. Maybe a bit of luck there. Yeah? We've been all right in the in the first half, but Stonewall penalty. Well done, Saka. Come on, guys. Let's push on. Let's get number two. Come on, let's get number two. Interesting end to the season, guys. It's going to be interesting. Champions League coming up in the in the week. All right, guys, we're one up. Let me change the scores here. Christ, I just feel nervous. I don't know why. We're top again, guys, if it stays like this. But we need to get that insurance goal. We need the second goal. We need the insurance goal. Brighton nil, Arsenal won, guys. A sack a penalty just a couple of minutes ago. But I am nervous. Here come Brighton. Estupian and Dingra. Arsenal close it out. Or was it Havertz? Bukayo Manamore. <laughs> That's it, man. Keep the fake, guys. Uh, keep the fake. But yeah. It's squeaky bump time, guys, for the next, I don't know, how long? Seven games after this, but when does the season end? Yeah, for the next six weeks, guys, I think. Squeaky bump time. Mm -hmm. 
Bukwe TV, how are you getting on? Yeah, one nil, huh? One nil. Brighton with a free outside the Arsenal box. There's obviously going to be a bit of a reaction. Yeah, a second goal before half time would be good AFC, bro. The insurance goal. Defended and cleared. Good from Saka. He stopped it from going behind for a corner. But they have a throw, Brighton. They're deep in the Arsenal uh, to buy the penalty box. I bet they start diving and cheating on. Fuck. I'm watching from Uganda. Welcome, eh? Welcome, and I hope you're enjoying the game. I hope you're enjoying the match. Let me know your prediction. What do you think the final score is going to be? Come on. Uh. Come on, Arsenal. And by wise, but cleared. It is an Arsenal corner. Three one in favor of Arsenal. Here's hoping, man. We need it. We need that the uh, the insurance goal. Uh. We definitely need to get a goal in there. Uh, the insurance goal. Come on, come on, come on. Go on, shoot, man. Ooh. That was a high boot from Rice there. Fuck. Feisty. Luckily, though, he had the... It was an interesting challenge, but luckily he had, like, a bit of control over it. Uh. Otherwise, he did control it, uh. But yeah, it was a bit of a rough tackle. Eh? Luckily, he had control over it. Otherwise, he could have broken the player up. Got a new subscriber, guys. Thank you to the person that subscribed to my channel. Eh? I appreciate it. Arsenal messing around at the back with the ball. Need to get it forward. They're messing around with it at the back. All right, come on. Yeah, 
S2PN for Brighton, trying to burst clear. Nice ball. Brilliant pass back. S2PN, brilliant play. Well back. Arsenal just smash it away. And up the park and up by Saka. Into touch. Dangerous play from Brighton now. Eh? They tried to suck us in. Dangerous play. They tried to suck us in now. Eh? Just not enough on it to get it away from Havertz. They tried to suck us in there though. You know what I mean? Draw us out of position. They play their one twos. Try to suck the defenders in. Yeah, don't get too tight to them, yeah, because they'll just take you out of the game with a quick pass. The Arsenal defenders, yeah, they're too smart. They're resisting the the urge. They get drawn out of position. To get sucked in. Well back there. Gabriel hurt himself. That challenge with the uh, Gabriel hurt himself with that challenge with Danny Welbeck. Yeah, they need a second goal. We need that second goal, bro, for sure. For sure, McManus, man. I'm fucking I'm edgy, man. Fair edgy. Fuck, we need a second goal, bro. That real is in a bit of pain. You felt that. Yeah, Welbeck is a big man, yeah. David Raya talking to Welbeck. Friendly talk, yeah. Half of Galiba is going off. Saliba and Gabriel Galiba. Arteta complaining to the uh, to Monday officials about the tackle, I think. Gabriel is trying to walk it off, eh? but he looks in discomfort, real discomfort. But he's trying to walk it off. See, so got a shot away. Good save by Raya. And see, so yeah, he dummied, faked the shot, send it in, and now good save. Yeah? I couldn't afford any mistakes there, Raya. He needed to be on it. He definitely does keep the concentration. He definitely does keep the concentration more than uh, than Ramsey. Even Ramsey said it himself. His concentration levels drop. He definitely kept the con keeps the concentration more. Uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Come on, Arsenal. Let's get the half time, lads. We're one it up. Let's not do anything stupid. Eh? Try to keep the ball away from Zinchenko. He's a liability. That's it. Don't go to Zinchenko. Go the other way. Go to White. White to Saka. Back to White. Nice ball in, but the keeper takes it. Way too close, yeah. But he's a very good goalkeeper, the Brighton goalkeeper. Very good against Liverpool. If it wasn't for him against Liverpool, they would have got absolutely... If it wasn't for him against Liverpool, Brighton would have got absolutely trashed. He's very good, yeah. Quick move here from Brighton. There's a load of space ahead of them. They're a brilliant team like that, yeah. And Raya, fantastic. Throws it out and let's get Sinchenko on his way. It's 
Sinchenko playing safety first. At least he didn't lose it. Saka. Odegaard to Saka. Saka on it. Moving in. That favourite position where he likes to cut in. Holding up the ball. Using his strength. He did well, Saka, there to hold up the ball. Fucking oh, God, I'm nervous, man. Go on, man. Excuse me. There he is. The goal from Sack in the 33rd minute, guys. Almost, almost got a second there, guys. Dangerous play. But in looking a little bit uneasy there, guys. Sinchenko and Rice, Jesus. Sinchenko, ball in, Odegaard, Rice, ball in, bright and clear. Jesus has it again. Lamptey wary of challenging Zinchenko Jesus Desperate defending from Brighton back there yeah. Wow Gabriel gets it Arsenal building again Zinchenko Very tight down there Very tight Seven minutes at a time Jesus what Oh yeah I just woke up, guys. Sorry. Fucking hell. That's a lot of added time. That is a lot of added time. A lot of added time. Right, let's go. Back on Brighton, guys. Seven minutes of that time. We've almost had four. One nil to Arsenal. And yeah, we need to win this one now. This is this title race is going to go all the way to the wire hopefully and see so Arsenal clear Raya came out for it can play controlled here come Arsenal the break they're shaping for a break Martin Odegaard Havertz just kept it away, Brighton. Just kept it away. Arsenal marauding. White took it from NC, so Saka, Watergaard, White, Rice. Flags up. Dangerous play from Arsenal. Two minutes. Two minutes to be played of time added on. The movement from Arsenal there, guys, the way they play themselves out of trouble. Brilliant.
a giveaway by Van Hecke, guys. Autograd pouncing. Saka, Royce, Saka again. Around this 2 p.m. Very good goalkeeping at the back there. Like I said, this Brighton keeper, guys, is very, very good, yeah. And are dangerous on the counter, yeah. That was the hallmark of their game last season, Libro. That was the hallmark of their game last season, yeah. They were mad dangerous on the counter. They're mad dangerous on the counter, man. Like, you remember last season, bro? That was the hallmark of their game, yeah. Intricate play. We're lucky that Matoma's not playing because he is like the, the maestro, Matoma. He's out for the rest of the season, yeah. But when he plays for Brighton, God help us. Matoma, bye. If he was playing, he is amazing. Like, what a player. Big loss for Brighton, yeah. Good win for Luton today, man. I think Luton will stay up. I think they have a good chance. And they've got Barkley. You got Barkley, you got a chance. Barkley's on it, man. He's on it. Big up to Barkley, man. Barkley has to go to the Euros, man. And Cole Palmer, or Cold Palmer as they're calling him. Man United's best friend, Cold Palmer. Man United's best friend, Cold Palmer. Incredible uh, player, man. That penalty is the talking point of the game, guys. Half time. I'm just going to go drain the weasel and I'll be back. Okay, just one second. Big up to all of you, guys. I'm just going to drain Mr. Weasel. <laughs> Mr. Skip, as I like to call him. I got cock blocked today by Gunnosaurus, guys, but I'm going to tell that later. Yeah, that story's for later there. Gunnosaurus cock blocked me, guys. My own dinosaur, yeah. My own flesh and blood, bye. And he goes and he does that to me, bye. Fuck, what am I doing? That's Gunnosaurus' fault again. Yeah, I got cock blocked by my dinosaur. Right then now. Arsenal won. Alright guys, half time one nil. I'm just gonna drain the weasel and I'll be back. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys. I'll be back in a while. Eh? Won't be long.
All right, guys, I'm back. Big up to all of you. Thank you for your support. <clears throat> Second half about to start, guys. Dave's watching Drax at Park later. That's poor to him. Loves the dinosaur. Yeah, they're like the key words, guys, you know. You need to follow this look. Dave's watching Jurassic Park later. Full stop. That's porn to him. Full stop. Loves a dinosaur. You see? Straight to the point. Keep it concise. That's the main thing. Keep it concise. Dave's watching Jurassic Park later. That's porn to him. Loves a dinosaur. Know what I mean? Keep it concise. You know what I mean? Keep it concise. Stick to the topic. Me and my dinosaur. That's basically the whole thing. All right, let's do this, guys. Time to get some more gray hairs. Fucking hell. My hair is falling out and it's going gray at the same time. I mean... Fucking hell. They were unbeaten in the last 39 league matches, guys. Sorry, guys, just having some crisps. Hope it's okay if I eat on stream, guys. You know, I'm not going to offend anyone, am I? Hope I'm not going to offend anyone, guys. Like a dinosaur, maybe. A different type of dinosaur. It's me, guys. It's the OSG. It's your boy. Eating on stream. Not the one fella. No, no. And fella. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Hey, fella. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want to see me, bro? I'll show you a fucking fella. Jesus Christ. An old age pensioner. I'd be accused of beating up a fucking old age pensioner. You know what I mean? Some of the cunts have a coming though. Anyway, it's going to be nice. Saka, 38 games, 17 goals and 13 assists. Decent, huh? That's a decent, like, the assists, the amount of assists, huh? That's a lot of assists. A lot of assists. You know what I mean? A lot of assists. He's done well, though. He's done well. Havertz has been playing alright in this game. Wow. We've had so many chances, huh? Yeah, and he's blind. Uh, the full back was on sight today. Uh, he didn't know that Jesus was coming in. Bring off Sinchenko and Jesus now. Uh, Sinchenko's a liability, yeah. Uh. It's going to be a battle here, guys. We need a second goal. We need a second goal. Oh, God, no. The game's have to start them again. I just realized. We need a second goal, yeah. Uh. We need a second goal. Let's get the second one, guys. Let's go for number two. Eh? Let's go for number two. Good stats there, though. Thank you, AFC, for that. Thank you, AFC, always, for the stats. Eh? Thanks, man. Big up to you. Eh? Some of the other games today, guys. I finished Crystal Palace 2, Man City 4, Wolves 1, West Ham 2. Ah, Tony. They won, man. It was 1 1 for a long time. Big up. Everton won Burnley 0. Player sent off for Burnley in that game. Aston Villa 3, Brentford 3. Cracking game. Fulham 0, Newcastle 1. Jordy's delighted. And Luton 2, Bournemouth 1. Oh, Luton got a winner in the 90th minute. Jesus. They needed that, uh, they needed that. Tomorrow it's Liverpool against United, guys. Sheffield United versus Chelsea and Tottenham versus uh, Nottingham Forest. 
three matches tomorrow, guys. Man United, Liverpool, Sheffield United, Chelsea, Tottenham, Knott's Forest. Oh. If we had a top striker, he would score so many goals. We missed so many chances. Uh, and now we have to live on our nerves a bit there. Now we have to live on our nerves. You know what I mean? Like here, I'm living on my nerves here. Like, oh my God. It only takes one moment, guys, and they're level. So let's keep a cam at the back. Yeah? Saka doing his bit to defend. Raya looking cam in goal. Raya probably be doing the same thing again when the ball is rifled in. When the Arsenal pairs has gone down, guys. Ben White and Ben White and then Seesaw getting into it. Ben White is telling then Seesaw to fuck off. What is Ben White doing? Oh my God, Ben. You're playing for the club, bro. Ben, the name of the club is on the line, bro. The reputation of the club. Stand up and be a man about it, bro. Ben, the reputation of the club is on the line, man. You've got a bit of grass on the end of your nose, Ben. And we're not talking about weed. There's a, bit of, there's a blade of grass on the end of his nose. Remove that as well, like... Ben, you're representing the football club, bro. You've played well for us, Ben White. He's played well, uh, Benny Blanco. The last couple of, uh, you know what I mean? This year, he's been great. Uh? I mean, this calendar year, not just the season, this calendar year. Since the turn of the year, he's been great. Uh? But Ben, you're representing the football club, bro. More than yourself. Come on, man. No White is getting booed. Nice ball. I think he plays better when there's a bit of hate than White. You know, when people are hating on him, he plays better. I think that's what he's trying to do, White. He's trying to get the crowd riled up because he gets the best out of himself then. That's his psychology. Game getting interesting. Arsenal fantastic when they lose the ball, yeah. But Ben White, yeah, Lee. You know what I mean? You want to catch us doing that, Lee, bro. I mean, seriously. I mean, he initiated the problem. Then he got a bit of a push. Then he fell He fell over like my man. Fucking hell. He went down quicker than my sister. I'm back to saying those things about my sister again. He went down faster. He went uh, down faster than my sister. All right. Fuck's sake. Come on. Come on. We need a second goal, eh? And we need Ben White to stop play acting. Oh, he's getting booed again. And back to the sister jokes, Lee. Oh, if she's not watching. Fuck. That could be troublesome. Over the guard. Straight at the keeper. Over the bar. He got it from his left on, foot onto his right foot. I put his laces through it. Sister! You know how the Irish get down, Lee? Irish people are not backwards or coming forwards. Whether it's a man or a woman, Irish people are not backwards or coming forwards. You know what I mean? Ben White, what the f... Go on, man. Imagine what Roy Keane thinks of that. Roy's got something to say about that, I'm sure. If Roy's watching this now, I'm sure he's got something to say about that. Come on. This has been a good stream, actually. It never cut out once. I probably just given it the kiss of that, but it never cut out once, never.
Well, Keen has history with the Harlem family. Yes, he does. He does have history, man. He has a lot of history with uh, Alf Inga Harlander. Definitely with Alf Inga. They clashed at Leeds in the first game when Keane got injured, and then they clashed again at Man City when Keane made his return. Keane, of course, playing for United at uh, both times, of course. The only team he's played for in the Premier League. But um, first it was against Leeds yeah, when Keane actually got injured. And then like a year later, I think, 97, when it was... Uh, United against Man City, and he just went straight in on Haaland. Yeah. The ball was there. He just went straight through him. Um, insane, man. If you did that out on the street, Lee, you'd actually be done for assault. If you did that on the road, Lee, right now, you went outside your place, or me, I went outside here onto the street, I did that to someone, we'd be locked up, bro. We'd be in the big house with the big boys. Do you know what I mean? You'd be locked up for that, man. They're going to equalise. Fuck it, don't say that, bro. That was close, though. They almost squeezed through, yeah? They almost got in at the near post. Come on, get it away. Fuck. It's true, Dolly, bro, eh? If we did that right now, by went outside there on the road and fucking tore into someone, like he did, you'd be locked up, bro. That's the salt, like. And it was serious, grievous bodily harm. You know what I mean? It was fucking... It was dangerous. I mean, it was menacing, eh? real harm, eh? grievous bodily harm, bro. GBH. Oh, Arsenal defending well, but at one nil, guys, it is squeaky bum time. Squeaky, squeaky. All sorts going on in the penalty box, guys. Oof. And see so with the chance, guys, but over the bar. Come on, Arsenal. 1 0 to the Arsenal. Come on. Fuck, we got well over half an hour to go, though. We missed a lot of chances in the first half, huh? We need a lot. We missed a lot of chances in the first half. Saka could have been in there, yeah, but fucking he was held up. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, blow the whistle, ref. <laughs> I'm already asking for the ref to blow the whistle. <laughs> it remains like it is, guys, we're back on top. By one point, but it's Liverpool United tomorrow. God help us. Come on, man. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Ref, blow the whistle, man. I'm already asking for him to blow the whistle, guys. There's 30 minutes to go. <laughs> that tells you all you need to know. I, my nerves are shot to pieces. I shot to pieces, man. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's gone out. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Got a bit of luck there, guys. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. <laughs> blow the whistle, ref. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me go with this one. Blow the whistle, ref. Wait, what is it? No. Blow the whistle, ref. Brighton's still in it. It's only 1 0. Is it just me or is the game going in slow motion?
at Ingra, Welbeck and Cecil. And Cecil to Welbeck, it's really getting going on. It's really getting going. <sighs> come on, come on, Arsenal, come on. Come on, Ben. Come on, Odegaard. A couple of changes coming on for both teams, guys, shortly, and they're all going to be uh, offensive changes. I'll get to that comment in a minute, AFC. One second. Comment from AFC. Time for party and replace Inchenko for Tommy Yasu. Come on, what have we scored again, is it? Yes! Yes! Havertz, bye! Guy Havertz scores again. Come on, guys. Everybody sing. Everybody sing, guys. Guy Havertz scores again. Da -da 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 -da. Never mind about my voice, guys. I know it's terrible. Never mind about my channel for Arsenal, guys. Come on. Guy Havertz scores again. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, lads. We're Arsenal fans. Let's go. Let's do this. Guy Havertz scores again. Do, 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 do. Waka, waka, hey, hey. I hate that song from Shakira, by the way. Uh, but it's a Haver song. Guy Havertz scores again. Yeah, man. We're on the pig's back, lads. We're on the pig's back. And there it is. He makes it look easy, guys. It's not easy. And a nice finish, huh? There he goes. Havertz went in front, and then he ran behind, you see? He moved in front of the player. He moved in front of the defender, and then he crept in on his shoulder. Nice. 29 is still shit. <laughs> yeah, he can be shit all season, man. <laughs> Come on, waka waka. Hey. <laughs> Guy Havertz scores again. That was good movement for the goal, though. It was good movement. He went in front. Then last second, he went in behind. Yes, 2 0. Come on. Yeah, the song has been sung by the Arsenal fans. Hey, hey, waka waka, hey, hey. Guy Havertz scores again. <laughs> yeah, they were taking the piss out of him. Yeah, but there you go. Kill a guy. Boom. Fight the nil Arsenal too. Let's go, guys. We're tuning it up. Now we can relax a little bit. On comes Trossard. He's getting booed. Oh, nice stadium they have, Brighton. 60 million down the drain. Kai Havertz scores again. Do, 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 do. Waka, waka, hey, hey. Da, 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 da. Kai Havertz scores again. There we go. Uh, okay, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Guy Havertz scores again. Waka, waka, hey, hey. But what's the lyric, guys, before that bit? It's... Waka waka hey, Kai Harvard scores again. Oh yeah, 60, okay, 60 million down the drain. 
Let's go Z again. Sixty million down that drain. Kai Havert scores again. Waka waka, hey, hey, hey. Sixty million down the drain. Kai Havert scores again. Sixty million down the drain, but. Come on, lads. Come on, Arsenal. No time to do some defending. Brighton doing their very best, huh? But Arsenal looking tough. Oh, and David Raya. But you can see that the players know, yeah, what's at stake here. We don't want to repeat the last season, guys. And I think they learned their lesson the hard way last season, yeah. They got nailed. You know what I mean? I think they learned their lesson last season when they got nailed. All right, let's go. Keep it tight, lads. Let's get to the 70 minute mark. Need to concentrate now, yeah, defensively. There's some defense concentrating, yeah. They have to move so much to defenders, like in and out the whole time. Who scored the second goal, bro? You know who the, you know who was, man. Kai Havertz. You want to? You want me to sing the song? Don't make me sing the song, bro. It was Kai Havertz. Sixty million down the drain. Kai Havertz scores again. Hey, hey, waka waka. Hey, hey. Sixty million down the drain. Kai Havertz scores again. We're on the pig's back, lads. We're on the pig's back. 2-0. That man Havertz. The scourge of France. Recently. And he's back again with another goal. I come right in. Well on, Raya. Yeah, the players seem to know what's at stake here. Yeah. Here we go. Trossard cuts inside. 
Verbruggen saves at the near post. Dangerous play, Trossard. Got a strong hand to the ball and pushed it out. Definitely better in defence this season, mate. Feeling confident now. Yeah, we're definitely much improved, though. Much improved, Lee, man. Guys, big up. Hear me. If you haven't already, guys, come and subscribe to this man's channel, okay? Come to subscribe to Lee's channel. If you haven't already, Football Dad's Army, all right? A gooner, guys, like myself, like AFC always, like Arsenal Alex, like McManus, like everybody on here, yeah? A gooner, guys, we're from the old school. So check it out, guys. Check out his channel, yeah? Hit the like, subscribe to his channel. He's going to be doing some content as well, guys, during the week, the Champions League match against Bayern Munich. So make sure you come and check that out there. But show him some love, guys. Click the like, click the subscribe, and show him some love, guys. Like I say, give him a bit of support. He's from the old school guys, like myself, like McManus, like AFC. We're old school gunners, guys, all of us. There's no plastic fans on show here, guys. The real deal, you know what I mean? So big up to Lee, man, a big up to his channel. Come and drop him a bit of support, guys. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't cost you anything. Give the man a bit of support. Comes up to his channel, yeah? It's only a couple of the people watching here now. It's a quiet stream. The whole world is streaming this game. Uh, everyone is doing a watch-along at the moment, really. All the big YouTube channels are doing watch-alongs, guys. I'm not talking about my channel, yeah? I'm on about all the big channels, yeah? They're all doing watch-alongs to this game, so... Do you know what I mean? But I've had a couple of people watching. I'm happy enough with it. The main thing is I get to watch the game as a fan. You know what I mean? I'm a fan at the end of the day, guys. I'm a fan of the club. I get to watch the game like everybody else. That's the nice thing. You know what I mean? Oh, you're welcome, man. No problem. Thank you, too, yeah? Thank you, too. All right, we're tuning up. We're on the pig's back. Let's push on. Two nil, guys. We got a little bit of defending to do, but we're doing it amicably. Uh. Oof. It's getting physical out there, man. A little bit physical, eh? The trust already just dusts himself down, picks himself up, dusts himself down, and carries on with it. That's been good about Arsenal this season. Yeah, they just battle away. No one freaking out. Disciplined. Professional. I'm back. Seems like Arsenal had a good game. Yeah, they've been all right, man. How was your match anyway, Damon? How are you getting on, yeah? How was your match? Kai Havertz got the second goal, yeah? Saka got the first with a penalty. I think you already know that. And you probably know that Havertz got the second one, yeah? Just like maybe, I don't know, was it 10 minutes ago? But yeah... You'd expect the pressure from Brighton to come on, yeah, they press, but Arsenal have dealt with it, yeah. We're not getting sucked in, you know what I mean? They do these barnstorming runs through the centre, yeah, Brighton. That's the one thing you got to watch, yeah. Oof. Get it out there, that's it. Up the park with it. Anywhere will do, nice. I like that kind of play. We scored five seconds before the final whistle to win it. F it was 4 3. Fuck, you scored with five seconds to go. Wow. The luck is in for you, man, the last week. Eh? It's not just luck, I know, but five seconds to go and to win it 4 3. That's mad. That is crazy. Like, all right, come on, Arsenal. Back up top of the league. Come on, United, tomorrow. Let's see, can Man United do us any favours? Oh, we got 40, good goal difference, 50. Whereas Liverpool are 42 and City are 40. We've got great goal difference, man. Let's try to shut out. It was me as well, and I got man of the match too. You must be a good player, man. You must be a good player. Not kissing ass, yeah, but you must be a decent player, man. Because you always seem to be like the pivotal, the pivotal person. You know what I mean? The pivotal moment tends to come from your foot, eh? or your head. You know what I mean? But uh, the pivotal moment, man, you must be a decent enough player, Damon. You must be a decent enough player, man. And Raya takes it. Oh, 
We're on the pig's back. All right, the stream is after freezing one second. Dave just had a Caribbean takeaway when watching the game. Caribbean takeaway? Oh, is it Jamaican or something? I know there's a lot of big Jamaican food in the UK. And when I was there anyway, it's like Jamaican this and Jamaican that. Caribbean, what was it? Just had a Caribbean takeaway. What was her name? What was her name, Anthony? <laughs> All right, let's go back into it. Still 2 0. Let's go. Jerk chicken. Yeah, yeah. Jerk chicken is the thing, right? That's the big thing, yeah. I was just doing a hit or miss at that point as we thought we was going to have extra time. Turkey U Club. Anyway, the team's going to go get some food, so I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, enjoy yourself, Damon. Eh? Have fun, man. Enjoy, yeah. Have some fun, man. Well deserved, huh? Well deserved. All right, almost there. Almost there. Let's go. Give your hair as long at the back and short on top, just letting you know. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Anthony, bro. Your hair is long at the back and short on top. Just letting you know. Short on top, you mean I'm losing it, eh? You mean I'm losing it. It's all the one length, bro. All the one length. I did it with the razor, eh? Come on. It was Saliba on Beliba. Saliba against Baliba. All right, it's party time now, guys. This win is going to echo around the world. Just like the Bayern v Bayern's loss and Harry Kane. This is going to echo around the world. This victory will echo in eternity. It's like the Gladiator movie, guys. Anthony, you know I'm talking your thing, no, Anthony, yeah? Movies. Anthony's a movie buff, guys. Gladiator, Anthony. Gladiator. This victory will echo in eternity, guys. What you do in this game will echo for eternity. Mullet, dinosaur, molesting, Dave. MD, MD. I'm the MD, yeah? MD, MD. I'm like MDMA. <laughs> Mullet, dinosaur, molesting asshole. <laughs> it's more MDMA. Mullet, dinosaur, molesting asshole. <laughs> Gladiator, man. What we do on the field will echo in eternity. You could have been in the Gladiator movie, uh, Anthony. You could have been in the movie. You could have been like one of the gladiators, you know. Ooh, you know what I mean, you get it on the first scene, you know what I mean? Or like the 
when they're getting like the yeah, uh, you could be in the the opening scene, you know, you could have been like with the Germans, you know, the Hunde. You could have been the side of a fluke, the Hunde, and then you can down one of the German guys, and then you get hit by an arrow. That's you done then. You know what I mean? You could have been in that movie, Anthony, with your hands like shovels. You know what I mean? You could have caught a guy by the head, crushed his skull, something like that. You know what I mean? Good old Herbert, by. You missed me, did you, Herbert? With your message on uh, Instagram, like, checking up on me. I was like, what's his problem, you know what I mean? Thought you had a problem, Anthony, you know what I mean? Thought you had a problem with me. Thought you had a problem with me, man. Don't be having a problem with me, man. <laughs> Do you like the beard is coming back a little bit, guys, huh? No, schmiggy mig. Germans and gladiator, yeah, at the, at the beginning, yeah? At the beginning, the very first battle, yeah, like the last battle, like it was the very first part of the movie, but it was the last army standing in the way of the Roman Empire. That was the Germans that came down, yeah, they cut off the guy's head and they threw it down. He came back on the horse with his head missing. That was the Germans, huh? It was in Germania. And what they say at the start is the, the leader of the Germans, he stands up and he says, it aside for fluke the hunde, which means you are cursed dogs. Yeah, is what that means. It aside for fluke the hunde, and hund is a dog in German. So he was like your cursed dogs, but of course they lost to you know the opening battle scene, eh? which was the last, the last um, opponent to the Roman Emperor. Eh? You remember when they beat them? They were going to send uh, Maximus home, but then the emperor was killed, and then things went fucking. Excellent movie, man. The Germans come up on the hill, by for sure they're fucked. Anyway, the Roman army had like everything. Do you know what I mean? And full armor. I mean, you had no chance against them, by. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, the Germans and gladiator. All right, let's do it. Let me have a multivitamin. Let me actually have a magnesium. Your side for fluke the hunde. You are cursed dogs. Excellent movie, though, man. Gladiator. Aren't they going to make a second one of that, or did they make it already? Ah, beekeeper's good, huh? I saw that chat, a beekeeper. One of my friends back in Ireland, he told me about it, yeah, but I saw it in fairness, like, it was online, like on YouTube, and the picture and the sound was a bit, I hate that, man, you know what, the picture and the sound is like, you know what I mean, not top quality, it's like watching it is a bit, it's like slow, you know what I mean, the sound is off a bit, and the pictures, but yeah, the beekeeper's good movie, yeah. I like Jason Sadam as an actor. He can handle himself too, though. Stadham. He's not just a, he's not just a pretty boy. Yeah? He doesn't just play the part. He can actually rumble, like in real life. He can rumble. You know what I mean? Your hands like shovels would be no good against him, Anthony, bro. He'd fucking, he'd take it to school, boss. He'd drop you like a bad habit, and he dropped me as well like a bad habit. I get a minute. You know what I mean? Statham is a fucking. Good actor, man. The movie he did as well when he was uh, in America was good. What was it? Um, yeah, I know that could be every movie, yeah. But the um, Home Front, was it? Is that what it's called, Home Front? Was he's protecting his daughter in America? Yeah, I've got it till the 24th. <laughs> I've got it till the 24th, yeah. It's paid till the 24th, Anthony. Is it on Netflix, yeah? Is the big keeper on Netflix? Anyone know any good movies on Netflix, guys? Let me know. At the moment, I'm watching The Gentleman, the series, uh, the Guy Ritchie series. At the moment, I'm watching The Gentleman. But anyone know any good movies, guys? Let me know. On Netflix, uh, I have it until the 24th. If anybody wants to watch it, yeah, let me know. I'll give you my, um, my login details, uh, and you can watch it. <clears throat> I have it until the 24th, uh. And it's full HD, so if anyone's got a HD TV.
All right, big up, guys. Lee's still with us. Anthony, big up to you guys. Oh, beautiful finish. Nice goal. That's what the man can do. The assassin, eh? And that's how you do it, guys. Bigging himself up, yeah? He doesn't come across as a confident guy, trust not when he celebrates or scores, yeah, but he's, he's, yeah, he's mild-mannered, yeah? He's from Belgium, mild-mannered. But what a goal. He's got a good engine, Trossard, boy. He's fit. Nice. Havert sets him up, boy. A little delay just to beat the keeper. 3 0. Uh, he checked just before he shot. Check. Keeper thought it was coming, it was just a check. He gave a little check. Keeper thought that was the shot. Keeper went down and then he chipped it in. Great goal. Can we do it, guys? Will this be our year? I don't want to put a curse on the team, yeah, but can we actually do it? Let me know in the comments, guys. I don't want to put a curse on the team, yeah, but could this finally be our year? Can we actually do it? Can we lift the trophy in May? I mean, on this form, it's going to be very close. Huh? Let's take it all the way to the last day of the season, guys. That would be excellent. Imagine how exciting that would be. Huh? All the way till the end of the season, guys. Imagine if we took it all the way to the end of the season. Guys, McManus is streaming tonight on his channel. Huh? So I'm going to come and give him a bit of support. Yeah? He's streaming tonight on his channel. On his gaming channel, guys, he's doing Red Dead Redemption 2. So why don't you all come along, join in, and give the man a bit of support, yeah? Drop him a bit of support, guys. He's streaming tonight on his gaming channel, yeah? McMahon is gaming. So why don't you give him a bit of support? Come and check it out. All right, guys. I hope so. Yes, we can. We need Liverpool to fuck up and us to keep winning. Yeah. I hope it goes all the way. McManus's channel. Is this? McManus Gaming. Well, he has two channels. Uh, this is one of them. This is the gaming channel. But at the moment, he's doing Red Dead Redemption 2. He should have done streaming last night, but uh, he put it off till tonight. So he's going to be doing some live streaming, guys. Some gameplay. If you want to check it out. This is his channel, uh, Anthony Raw, The McManus Gaming. You're welcome, man. Thank you for supporting my channel, yeah? Thank you for supporting my channel. I still have the jacket for you, yeah? I'm going to post it out to you, man. Trust me, that will happen, yeah? I've just been mad busy the past couple of days, but that will happen, yeah? Do you know what I mean? I'm a man of my word. Anthony's taking a piss as always, but he thinks because he's a big man, he can fucking, you know what I mean? He thinks because he's bigger than most fellas. Uh, he's bigger than 90% of men. He thinks he can fucking throw his weight around. One of these days I'm going to turn up out in... Um, what's that place he's living in? Bristol. One of these days I'm going to turn up out in Bristol, but I'm going to turn up in Bristol with my cousin. Do you know what I mean? You could land a plane on my cousin's back. I'm going to turn up on in Bristol with my cousin. And we're going to be like this. This is what we're going to be like now when we turn up in Bristol, uh. Anthony winding me up, huh? Yeah, Anthony, whatever, man. <laughs> and he lets me go, Anthony lets me go on about it then for like two minutes about the name of the channel. And he's like that, rubbing his little hands at home. And Anthony was like this, loving it, man. I went on about for about two minutes, bigging up his channel, yeah, and then telling Anthony. I went on for like two minutes telling Anthony the name of McManus's channel. And Anthony was probably like this, laughing away to himself. Sick, man. You're sick, Anthony, bro. That is sick. You know what I mean? Disgusting behavior, man. That's just sick. That's just sick, man. <laughs> Gonna turn up in Bristol one of these days, Anthony, with me cousin. You know what I mean? He's another hands like shovels. 
fuck's sake. Ari, right, we only got four minutes to go. Let's do this four and a half. Nice one, Anthony. He's taking a piss, Dave. Yeah, as always. I, I, he was like, that. he's winding me up, man. Innocent Dave, they call me. You know what I mean? Innocent Dave. Yeah, come on. Let's get a clean sheet. Let's go for the goal difference. Clean sheet, clean sheet. The fans are enjoying this, guys. Ooh, has to be a goal. Brilliant defending. Look at the boys. Gabrielle loving it. Everyone's bigging each other up. Gabrielle loving it, man. They're all bigging him up. <laughs> Gabrielle is fucking mustard. He is by spicy mustard as well, I'd say. He is, you know what I mean? We're all like Guy Ritchie here, no guys, gangsters, you know what I mean? Fucking Arsenal, have it, you know what I mean? Bit of Guy Ritchie, no guys. They should actually, Guy Ritchie should actually like, Guy Ritchie should do a remake of Fever Pitch, but like from a gangster angle. That would be good, right? If Guy Ritchie did like a remake of Fever Pitch, guys, but with like a gangster element, like a gangster angle, that would be cool, right? Like gangsters that are also Arsenal fans and Field 89, you know? It would be cool, man. That would be cool. Do you know what I mean? That would be cool, like a remake of Fever Pitch, Guy Ritchie with gangsters as Arsenal fans as well. You know, like their gangster life and also being fans. That would be excellent, man. Anthony winding me up, man. He just likes it. Anthony loves a Bristol Rovers kit. Ah, oh, he loves that team, Bristol Rovers, man. Anthony's Bristol Rovers, true and true, guys. He no time for City. It's Rovers are his team. No time for City. It's Rovers, all the way. This is a statement we are making. It is by, just like Bayern Munich and Harry Kane, they made a statement earlier of how crap they are. <laughs> they, they may, they'll sort us out no midweek. Go on, Arsenal. Bayern, watch out. We're coming for you. Havertz there with Kivior and Emil Smith Raw. Yeah, Bristol Rovers. No, Anthony. It's fuck Bristol City. You're a Bristol Rovers fan. Anthony, would you stop? Anthony loves Rovers, bye. Big Rovers fan here, guys. Be proud, Anthony. Be proud of Rovers, huh? Gabriel is fucking mustard. He's fucking having it large, man. Let me put that comment up there. Big up to Lee, man, and Football Dad's Army. Guys, if you haven't already, come subscribe to this man's channel, huh? Yeah, Football Dad's Army guys and Lee, okay? Come subscribe to his channel. Like his videos, subscribe to his channel, and do your thing, yeah? Big up to everybody, guys. We're doing it, huh? We're back on top, and the goal difference is looking. We're sitting pretty, guys, with the goal difference. Maybe United will do us a favor tomorrow. Anthony, they're your club, bro. Anthony, they're your club. Anthony, I don't know. They must have had a bad result today. I think Bristol Rovers had a bad result, eh? or they're having a bad season, because Anthony's like, he's gone militant. Anthony's gone fucking militant, man. Against his team. Anthony, be proud of the team you support, eh? Be a proud Rovers fan, man. Bristol Rovers, proud. All right. Arsenal singing away, bye. I wasn't expecting this from Arsenal, by Oh, Jesus, Nketiah. He'd never score, surely. <laughs> Nketiah would never score, surely. There we go, guys. Whoa. 
on, we're piling on the pressure. Don't get jealous, Anthony, bro. Look at that lad, it's like a it's like a chicken chicken arm. Look at that lad, there's nothing there. It's like look. Uh chicken arm. Three things I like. Arsenal, Bristol Rovers, and Dave's COVID nineteen haircut. My COVID nineteen haircut. What haircut did I have then? Three times three things I like. Arsenal, Bristol. Ah, it's Bristol City, not Bristol Rovers. Sorry, man. Anthony has a Bristol Rovers tattoo on his check next to his Kathy Barry tattoo. When you ask Dave who cut his hair, he can actually say the council. Fucking hell. <laughs> he can actually say the council. I was almost there with the prediction. I cut it myself, guys, yesterday. Just to get it neat for uh just to get it neat for Monday, you know. Our tell is clapping loudly, guys, I can hear it. Yeah, I did it, you know what I mean? Yeah, the team guys getting massive support there. Massive support at the stadium, guys. Big one tomorrow, guys. Man United hosting Liverpool. Great win for Arsenal. Eh? I was almost there with the prediction. Yeah, you said 3 1, right? You were close. You were close. I didn't think we'd score three goals away at the Brighton at all, to be honest. I just seen the way they played against Liverpool. I was like. McMahon has got a poster on his bedroom wall of hands like shovels. Yeah, I suppose you, you hear all the stories in the condom factory, Anthony. You, you get to know all the dirt on people in the condom factory. You know what I mean? The Arsenal fans in Nashville, guys, Tennessee, we are top of the league. We are top of the league. I didn't see was over in uh, Nashville, guys. Anthony's got a poster on his wall of the Bristol Rovers team laminated. Well, guys, we did the business. What can I say? Let Man United do the job. Here's hoping they can help us out there, but I'm sure they're going to be. I'm sure United at home will be tough now after the, the Chelsea game. First thing, congratulations on the big job, man. Ah, on the job, big man. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm starting on Monday, uh, but uh, before I start my first day, I have to go organize my work permit. I have to open a bank account. to be like, that's going to be a long ass day, man, I swear. 
but worth it. It's going to be a long last day for me, man. I start at 12 until 8 p.m. McManus, you're on the stretching department on Monday. Uh, you have to stretch the condoms for the uh, the Asian community. Uh? You need the big ones for the Asians. Yeah, that's right. Everyone in the chat, gooners are not. Love it. Yeah, if you're gooners or not, guys, love it. I don't know if I'm watching this thing in Nashville, Tennessee, yeah? There's like um, a Premier League event going on to try to drum up support for the Premier League in America. Your head tells you Man City or Liverpool because of their experience, but Arsenal. There's a fan festival, guys, in Nashville, Tennessee. Alan Shearer was there. Anthony, I've been moved up to management. Anthony, there's a conversation I've been meaning to have with you. The company's moving in a different direction, and unfortunately, you are not in our plans. But maybe he could be like security at the company, yeah? Maybe he could be like security. You know what I mean? Checking people in, um, making sure that they sign themselves in and sign themselves out. Maybe he could actually do that, though. you know what I mean? Maybe Anthony could actually do that, yeah, check people in, check people out. Be like security, you know what I mean? Maybe Anthony could do that, too. The boys were line dancing in Nashville. Tim Howard, guys, giving his views. Yeah, they're all in Nashville over there, by Shearer, Howard. Shearer was an incredible striker, though, on his day, man, in fairness. Glad to hear... Every time I put one on, it always splits. Maybe bring that up in the next meeting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. For the for the people of Bristol, they need bigger sizes. Certain people in Bristol need the bigger sizes. Uh, keep splitting. I can't say I've ever had that problem. Can't say I've ever had that problem. Yeah, that's probably why I'm single. How's it going? All right. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And take care. Yeah. And take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Eric Ten Hag against Club tomorrow, guys. That's going to be a big one. Huh? Here's hoping that uh, maybe United can do us a favor. Yeah. Hopefully, United can do us a favor. It's going to be an interesting game. But what a great game of football there, I mean, from Arsenal. What a great performance, I mean. All due respect to Brighton, eh? the best team won. Brighton nil, Arsenal 3.
great win, guys. Fantastic win. Big up to the team, eh? Big up to him. Like man has told me a rubbish at armor some day if you lost to a 90 year old woman. Is that true? Well, what actually happened is yeah, uh, what actually happened is that we were arm wrestling. Yeah. She dropped her other arm down and cupped me balls. And that made me lose. So I've been touched like that in a while by a woman, even though she was 90, yeah. We were arm wrestling, she dropped her other hand down and cupped me balls. It was definitely cupping. And that put me off and I lost. Because I haven't been touched in a while. I kind of went, and I fucking lost then. She knew what she was doing. She was a clever old lady. You know what I mean? But yeah, I did lose. I did lose. Can't say much more about it. Uh, I did lose. How much more I can say about it, huh? <laughs> I was in Thailand. Uh, she was from Thailand, actually. She was a 90-year-old woman from Thailand. Anthony, that's what happens when you try to put them on your head and your shoulders. Yeah, you put them on the wrong head, Anthony. You meant to put it on the... You know what I mean? You put it on the wrong head, but... I've talked with the wrong head a few times in my life, like any man, yeah? I'd be thinking with the wrong head. But... Just put it on, put it on the wrong head, Anthony, bro. That's what happens. Anthony. I can't tell you anything. She cupped his balls and Dave cupped her balls too. Thailand. Yeah, I can't tell you anything, is it, McManus? I love that from the two boys. Oh, I can't tell you anything. And they're like that in the whole time to each other. Fucking tell you, boy. You think you know somebody, boy? Uh, can I say, guys, Rory McIlroy was talking about the Liverpool United game there, or the United Liverpool. Fingers crossed United win tomorrow. I don't see it, but fingers crossed anyway. It's going to be a tough game. I mean, United won the FA Cup game against Liverpool. But hard to know. Hard to know. There's some Liverpool and United fans in the crowd as well, yeah. 
there's even a guy there's a construction worker there with like the yellow hat i think he came over there's like cranes in the distance construction site i think he came from uh i think he came straight over from work or something or on his break myself uh long-haired gunner no man it's the same length it's actually the same length it's actually the same length though but here i think is it's grayer on the side eh, anthony it's the same length bro but it's grayer it's just grayer bro and it's darker at the back But I'll go over it one more time tomorrow, yeah. But yeah, the razor is an old one, yeah. It's not the best, but uh it's just grayer on that side, Anthony, bro. Anthony taking the piss out of me, yeah. Zoom in at the back. No. <laughs> it's just grayer on the sides, man. That's what it is, yeah. Hey, look here, look, dark, gray. That's why it looks, let me see. Ah, same length. Dave, leave it, old school mullet live stream. Anthony's a hard case, man. I'd say Anthony's a good laugh in the pub. You know what I mean? You'll have a good laugh with Anthony in the bar. Drinking, just taking a piss. You'll have a good laugh with Anthony, man. Anthony, do you have any bets on? You got any bets going on, Anthony? Did you put a bet on Arsenal, for example? Maybe you can put a bet on tomorrow, yeah? Obviously, Anthony's not the only one that bets. But, Anthony, do you actually have a bet on the league? Like, outright winner? That's an interesting question. Huh? Do you actually have a bet on, like, who's going to win it outright? The league, yeah? That would be an interesting one, man. I don't think you would get... The odds wouldn't be too good now at the moment, yeah? Anthony's a big Bristol Rovers fan, guys. Anyone doesn't know, come support Bristol Rovers for Anthony, lads. He's like the lifeblood of the club, yeah. Anthony couldn't live a day without Bristol Rovers. Anthony couldn't live a day without Bristol Rovers. It's like, as soon as he gets to the ground and watches his beloved Bristol Rovers play, all the problems he has in his life, no matter what they are, just drift away. Yes, I done a bet today, 190 on the Scottish football on a two-pound bet. Anthony, you don't need to work, man. Give up your job. Anthony, you don't need to work. Give up your job. He's got a laminated pick of the team on his wall. And you know what the, the surprising thing is? They're naked. Anthony, I have to explain that to you guys. I couldn't... I wouldn't know where to start with that there, but Anthony has a laminated picture of Bristol Rovers on his wall, and they're all naked. And it's not the women's team. Anthony have to explain that himself, yeah? But, I mean, if his place was ever raided by the cops, if Anthony's place was ever raided by the cops, imagine what they think when they come in and see a Bristol Rovers fan and he's got the whole team laminated, naked picture of him on the wall. That would take some explaining, like. I mean, that would probably just, like, be another charge. You know what I mean? On top of the charge sheet, yeah, that would be another one. The boys be down the station and the cops be down the station laughing about it when they're doing when they're booking Anthony, you know what I mean? They'd be laughing about it then, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, strange, strange behavior, but look, each of their own, I suppose. Uh, I'm not going to judge you, Anthony, bro. Just like you wouldn't judge my haircut, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anthony's a pure wind up artist, man. I'd say Anthony's a good laugh in the bar, though. It's a good laugh when you're out on the tone. We're out on the tone with Antonia. Ah. I'm just going to go on the hour, guys. Go for another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to wrap up the stream. Will I be streaming tomorrow? I might uh, do the Liverpool United game because it's a massive game for us. And I might do like a review of this game as well. I might do a review of this game, you know, tomorrow maybe. But I'm going to get over a bit early tomorrow. I'm going to get up 
early tomorrow. Early, not fucking around. Even if I'm half asleep having a breakfast, I'm going to get up early, start the day right. It's my last free day for a while. Eh? My holidays are coming to an end, guys. My two months holidays, my eight weeks of holidays, guys, without a job are coming to an end. Eight weeks, guys. There's a fan festival, guys, in the Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. To buy the Hard Rock uh, Hotel, guys. Results, guys. Palace 2, Man City 4, Villa 3, Brentford 3, Everton 1, Burnley 0, Fulham 0, Newcastle 1, Luton 2, Bournemouth 1, Wolves 1, West Ham 2, and Brighton 0, Arsenal 3. Dave, have you ever thought of growing a ponytail and planning it at the back? And what am I going to do in fucking... Uh, like, what am I going to do? Am I going to be like, uh, wow, the Brian is going what am I gonna do? Like join like a band like Fleetwood Mac, is it? If I do the if I do the the ponytail and the planning at the back, what am I gonna do? Like join a Fleetwood Mac tribute band or something, is it? Like man, is that some holiday? Dave should have a man bun. Fucking hell. I'm getting paranoid now. Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting paranoid. I think I'm just gonna shave it all off now. Go into work on Monday with a zero. No hair at all, just shave it all off. You're making me paranoid, lads. You're making me self-conscious. <laughs> Only joking, eh? I couldn't care less. So maybe a man bun, yeah, man bun. Do you want to be nice, actually? A fucking hot dog. With all the sauces, like in America. Talking about bun, yeah, a bun. I like a fucking hot dog, man. With that, with the bun and all the sauces and some fucking mangle it in, you know what I mean? That would be nice, actually. That would be nice. Dave going for the Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus was fucking... Yeah, look at his daughter, man. His daughter was a hellraiser. His daughter was a hellraiser. Miley, yeah? Miley Cyrus. She is a hellraiser, man. What well, she went into to you now in bed, guys. Not worth having. What well, she doesn't know, I know, guys, about the freaky game in the sack. It's not worth knowing, guys. This woman, she... she destroy me, anyway. Dave... What's the job you're doing? I'm working in the supermarket, Anthony. Uh, like an all-rounder. I'll be on the checkout, taking in deliveries, um, obviously stacking shelves. Yeah, the usual thing, yeah, the usual thing. Dave, have you got an achy, breaky heart? You know the answer to that, bro. But uh, through the love of my, my faithful dinosaur, who actually cock, cock blocked me today, by the way, Anthony. Gonosaurus cock blocked me, uh, would you believe, today. It was of my own making, but still he, do you know what I mean? He cock blocked me. But yeah. Uh, the hours, um, I have to find out when I go in there, but my first shift is from, on Monday, from 12 midday till 8 p.m. So I think the shifts are like, on the trial day, some people were working from 6 to 2 yeah so 6 a.m to 2 p.m from 12 midday to 8 p.m so it's eight hour shift i've got a 42 hour week 100 percent job yeah so it's 42 hour week i'll be coming out with about three and a half grand at the end it's okay you know it's a start it's a start yeah the hours though yeah decent enough you know decent enough like i said six in the morning till 2 p.m uh midday till eight but the but the big thing is yeah like the important thing is okay monday is going to be a long day for me yeah because i have to get up early go get my work visa open a bank account then go to work then i need to organize health insurance because it's illegal to work in switzerland without health insurance it costs a lot at the beginning because you have to take out the whole premium and then pay for the month as well so it's quite expensive yeah maybe like a grand and a half but yeah that's the thing it's it's nearby like 20 minutes with the bus 15 minutes 15 minutes with the bus and i just walk to the stop here like a 10 minute gentle stroll and the bus is 15 minutes i mean compared to london it was two hours one way i spent four hours every day getting to and from work in london four hours two hours there two hours back on a good day so uh, now it's like a 15 minutes yeah uh, 15 minutes and i'm back here Fucking nice 
it's close, yeah. It's a close boy. So yeah, I'm lucky with that, yeah. I mean, it's so close. So I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, I have a lot to do on Monday. Yeah, I got a shitload of stuff to do on Monday. Shitload of stuff to do on Monday, man. Fucking shitload of stuff. But it's all worth it. Uh. When I get my first full wage, like full wage in May, I'm going to take the lads out here. You know, the, the friends I have here, we're going to go and get a bite to eat. Because they paid for the first one when I came here. We went for a bite to eat. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pay for it, you know. I'm going to treat them. That's very close by, man. It couldn't be closer. I actually think I could get a bicycle and cycle. And now the summer's coming up, you know, so maybe that's an option for me. If I get a cheap bike, I could cycle there. Be good for fitness. You know what I mean? Be good for fitness. But we'll see. It's very close, uh, very, very close. Yeah, I'm lucky enough. You know what I mean? I'm not painting a positive picture of stretching, guys. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to let one rip. There's a guy with a dodgy haircut on a little tree. Anthony, I'm going to go over to Bristol, man, and I swear to God, I'm going to clean your fucking clock. Anthony, I don't care how big you are, man. You'll have to throw the hands, Anthony. You're going to have to actually back it up. You may win, Anthony, but you're going to have to back it up, bro. This won't, uh, you know what I mean? This isn't going to fucking cash that check, bro. You're going to have to step to me on the oil. Oil tree. I'll see you at oil tree, Anthony. I'll wait for you at oil tree. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Anthony's a wind up merchant. <laughs> There's a guy with a touchy haircut on oil tree. <laughs> I'm just, Anthony, I'm just dodgy. Anthony, I'm just dodgy. There's no dodgy haircut. I'm just dodgy. <laughs> Anthony, there's a guy with a dodgy haircut. Yeah, there's a dodgy guy, you could say as well, because I am dodgy. Like, They're funny guys, uh, you know what I mean? Funny guys. And then let's see. Been sent something there now. Let's see how do I. There we go. Anthony, I sent you a message on Instagram, man. And uh, MacManus, I sent it to the WhatsApp group as well, bro, that we have with Aiden. So check that out, yeah. That was sent to me from um, Stapes. Stapes sent me that, yeah. So check it out, guys. Stapes sent it to me. Anthony, I sent it to your uh, Instagram, yeah. And MacManus, it went to our WhatsApp group that we have with Aiden, yeah. So check it out. Arsenal having trails. Ah, nice. A message that's actually not about my hair. Arsenal haven't trailed for a single minute in any of their 11 Premier League games in 2024. Their longest run of games without falling behind in the competition is one of 12 between February and May 2005. Mm. Arsenal have... No, you'll check it. No, McManus, you'll check it. No. Do you know what I mean? When I do you a favour, do you know what I mean? You accept the favour. I'd be grateful. All right? Arsenal haven't traded for a single minute in any of their 11 <laughs> Premier League games in 2024. Their longest run of games without falling behind in the competition since a run of 12 between February and May 2005. Man, they're doing all right for themselves. They're doing all right. They're doing all right for themselves. Needless to say, I mean, how many, how many fucking wins do we have this season? Was it 10 wins out of 11, I think, is it? 
Yeah. 10 wins and one draw out of 11 games. They've won 10 out of 11 and drawn one. Fucking hell. They're really going for it. Top of the league again, guys. Let's see, can United do us a favour tomorrow? We got twenty three points. We've where we've got more than we've got more than twenty three points more than United. We've twenty three points more than Man United right now. Twenty three points. You'll check it, nobody. All right, Trey, what's going on, man? How are you getting on, yeah? I hope you're well. Just one second, yeah. I'm going to drain the wheeze and I'll be back, yeah. The lads are taking the piss out of me, uh, Dre. They say I got a mullet. I mean, there's not a mullet there, man. I don't have a mullet. The line is from the cap there, guys. Yeah, but I don't have a mullet. Why is it winding me up? Fuck it. All right, guys. I'm just going to go drain the weasel and I'll come back, yeah. Make it out there that wants to, to have a mullet like me, is it? I don't have a mullet. What's this mullet thing about? All right, guys. So it looks like we're going to uh, we're going to take it to the final day. Hopefully, guys. Here's hoping we can take it to the final day. Yeah? We can push all the way. Jesus, Sanzinchenko are awful. Yeah, there was a lot of chances missed. Too. Next game versus Bayern, play Tommy Asu and Martinelli. Yeah, we're going to need more than that. Uh... Yeah, you got a mullet. <laughs> Top for business, back for party, you know, so. Guys, McMahon is streaming tonight on his channel, yeah, this channel. He's going to be doing some gaming, yeah, obviously. Red Dead Redemption 2. Dave sent you something on Instagram, oh, for fuck's sake. What does it know? Need I wonder? I can just imagine.
I mean, is it? Fuck it, I haven't looked that good in a while, Anthony. My ears and everything. You got the ears right, Anthony. The ears. Anthony's a wind up merchant, guys. He's just a wind up merchant. <laughs> Anthony's a wind up merchant. Let's see. All right. One second, McManus, I'm going to send you it. It looks like the Champions League trophy, actually. The guy that he sent me, the picture of the guy, he actually, with the ears and everything, he looks almost like the Champions League trophy. Maybe it's a sign, huh? Maybe it's a sign. All right, let's go into the group WhatsApp, uh, McManus. Fuck. I didn't realize I, I look different. So we've got Aston Villa next at home. Yeah, let's take a Champions League trophy. We've got Aston Villa home, Wolves away, Chelsea home, Tottenham away, Bournemouth home, Man United away, and Everton home. Liverpool have got yeah, United away, Crystal Palace home, Fulham away, Everton away, West Ham United away, Tottenham home, Aston Villa away, Wolves home. And Man City, Crystal Palace away, Luton home, Brighton away, Nottingham Forest away, Wolves home, Fulham away, West Ham United home. I have to say, Man City have a have an easier run in there. Yeah? You'd have to say that uh, Man City probably have an easier. Old school mullet. <laughs> Slight exaggeration there, guys. Looks like something from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, one of those fucking those fairy boys. What were they called? The boys with the bows and arrows. Those fairy boys. I can't think of the name of them. But yeah, fuck it. Things are looking a bit uh, risky. Yeah. That was the chair squeaking there, guys, in case people think that was me. That was the chair. I'm going live nine thirty if you're around. Is that nine thirty UK time? 
So like 10.30. Things are looking a bit mullety. That was your mullet against the chair. Is that 9.30, Lee, or is that 10.30? Is it 9.30 UK time? Yeah. Three goals and three points, guys, and that's all there is about it. Maybe this can actually be our year, yeah? Maybe. Okay, 9.30 UK time, so 10.30 my time, now. Yeah? All right, if I'm a Roman, I'll drop a couple of comments because I might be watching uh, McManus' stream, yeah? He's doing a gaming stream. But I can drop a couple of comments, huh? So we're top of the league, guys. 31 played, 22 wins, 5 draws, 4 losses. Goal difference of 51 and 71 points. Liverpool, 30 played, 21. Of course, they're playing that game in hand tomorrow against Man United at Old Trafford. They're away against United. They have got 30 played, 21 wins, 7 draws, 2 losses, and a goal difference of 42. And they want 70 points. So we've got a better goal difference. we got plus 9 on them. City, we've got plus 11 goal difference. They have 31 played, 21 wins, 7 draws, 3 losses, and yeah, goal difference of 40, 70 points. So we're ahead by 1, guys, but Liverpool have a game in hand. It's going all the way to the wire, guys, but... Arsenal have some very tough matches. Yeah? We got a tough run in for sure. A tough run in. Listening to Gunnar Toom. We are tops. Top of the league, man. Saski, you spent Schaffhausen wrong. Spelt it wrong, bro. Schaffhausen updates, Canada versus Sweden for gold, Italy versus Scotland for bronze. Come on, Sweden. Come on, Sweden, put some manners on those Canadians. I hope Sweden puts some manners on the Canadians, because eh? I think it's well overdue, well overdue. I think it's well overdue. You know what a Schaff is, Schaffhausen? You know what a Schaff is in German? A sheep. Go on the show, Dave. Football Dads Army will let you on. I, but I think McManus is streaming yeah, on his channel. Like his gaming channel. And I kind of want to go and support him too, yeah. Tross broke necks. That was a great move, yeah. And the way he dummied the shot. And then finished it the second time. Like he, the first time he did a little, little dummy. Keeper went down. Then he put it in. Chipped it. It's a nice move. Sweden was first round robin. Sheep shagging house then. Oh, God, I tell you, boy. You got me paranoid about my haircut now, guys. Absolutely paranoid about it. Havert goal and assist, yeah. The assist as well was brilliant, huh? So that was it, guys. Full time, right and nil, Arsenal 3. And that's all she wrote. Game set a match. That's all she wrote, lads. All right, I'm going to take a little break, guys. And when I say take a little break, I mean, I watched my the gaming channel. He was playing Paperboy on the Mega Drive. Oh, shit. Man, I needed one. Sack a shot on it and won 237. I watched McManus gaming channel. He was playing Paperboy on the Mega Drive. Kai Gull, I had Paperboy. Anthony, oh, I don't knock him, mate. That's a classic. <laughs> Let me have a drink here of my um, special juice. This is a multivitamin, guys, by the way. Whiskey's over there.
I don't even know that game, I think. Paperboy. You're a bit older than me, lads. You know what I mean? You're older than me, like. You're older than me, lads, you know what I mean? There was an age difference there uh, between us. Yeah, Golden Axe, yeah. I don't know, let's say a classic collection of the place might be on now. Golden Axe was good too. Dave, great result, one of the best performances of the season, such a mature display. They're going well, man. They're going well, they're doing well. They're going well, yeah. They're doing well. I mean, 10 wins out of 11. Fucking hell. 10 wins out of 11, guys. I don't know, let's say, a classic collection on the PlayStation. It might be on there. Killer Kai never dies. Golden Axe is on the Sega collection. I downloaded as well as Streets of Rage. Kill that guy never dies. It was a great goal, man. The second one, a cracker. Now it's going to be all over sports news. I can't wait to see Troops. As, um, I like watching what Troops is going to say about it. You know what I mean? Watching what Troops has to say about it. And reading the news stories about it and watching the highlights. It's enjoyable, guys. Enjoy these moments, guys, yeah, because the team are on it at the moment. Enjoy these moments, huh? But can we win the league? I mean, it's with a bit of luck, but we got some tough games. It's going to be a real battle, huh? We got the Mega Drive. It's got 300 games built in. Fuck. I got the Super Nintendo, yeah, the SNES. I got that when I was in Switzerland like four years ago. And like 30 games built in. Super Mario Kart and all this kind of thing. Two player. You know what I mean? On the big TV. On the flat screen. Two player. You know what I mean? Super Mario. Fucking can't beat it. I love the Nintendo NES one. I can't remember three teams fighting for this league title. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since that has happened, though. It's been a while. It's always been a two-horse race, yeah? I got Atari 2600 to McManus. It's going to be interesting, guys. It's going right to the wire. It's going right to the wire. When McManus games, of course, he games, I think, with the PS4. But yeah, big up. Uh. I've had the PS5. Sorry, man. I thought it was a PS4. Sorry, man. My mistake. Uh. I've got the PS5. Fucking nice one. The PS5 is a fucking animal. You know what I mean? I used to have the PS4 Pro. The last time I had a PlayStation, I had the PS4 Pro. But my buddy has the PS5. Uh. My buddy has the PS5. Anthony, that was my first ever console. The boxing game is brilliant. So my buddy is a PS5, but I had the PS4 Pro. That was a decent one, man. PS4 Pro, man. I still got Atari with the black joystick and the red button. No, that's old school. That is real old school, man. Yeah, it was called Champion or something. Got it in the first lockdown, needed something to do. Fucking, to be sure of it, man, you did. Just checking my mullet here, guys. But yeah, the the first, uh, the lockdowns, man, were fucking hell. 
I remember I had I had a trip. I was living in Switzerland at the time, yeah, before I left for the UK. And I remember I had we had the holidays booked, you know, to uh, Miami, and we cancelled it. And then we booked it again because we were in Miami the year before. Then we booked it a second time. Had to cancel that too because COVID got worse, and the US shut down everything from Europe. No flights allowed. So I spent my two weeks holidays, man, on the fucking balcony in the apartment, man. No, the weather was fantastic. But just really sitting there chilling in the sunshine. That's how I spent my two weeks, huh? Wow. Two weeks, guys. Had the holidays, and I was just on the balcony, guys, sitting on the fucking sofa on the balcony. Just There wasn't a plane in the sky. There was nothing going on. It was fucking eerie, man. That was crazy. Anthony and the volleyball game. Yeah, I was going to wrap this up, but as well as well, just let the stream go on the way it is, yeah? If it's entertaining for people, yeah? But guys, you must be getting excited now with that result, yeah? I mean, the butterflies in the stomach, yeah? One hell of a result, guys, and a great performance. I mean, the football was on a different level. Do you know what I used to love, man? A little bit after that, yeah? Donkey Kong. Fucking excellent game, man. You know, even on even just for the, the Game Boy, yeah? I had the Game Boy when I was younger, yeah? I loved the Game Boy. Not the color, the black and white one, yeah? But I loved the Game Boy. I spent the whole day playing with the fucking thing. But Donkey Kong, yeah? You know, when he's going up the ladders, yeah, and he's got the girl over his shoulder, yeah, and then Mario follows him, yeah, you're following him up, and he's throwing the barrels down at you, or he's got the monkeys, like, throwing bananas and shit, you know what I mean? It was a cool game, man. Donkey Kong. Cool game. Can't beat a bit of Donkey Kong, guys, you know what I mean? Excellent game. Jungle Hunt, the game was good. But do any of you like those, um... Like, you know, like the, the flying ones or, you know, where you're actually like in a plane and, you know, what do you call it? Like the the flight simulators, those kind of games. No, do you like the simulation games, no? I booked a holiday to roll for me and the family. I didn't get to go. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, my two trips to the US were cancelled, yeah. My two trips to fucking Miami, man. Mm, but look, that's no big deal, really. I'm fucking alive. So many people passed from fucking COVID, man. We're alive, guys. We're fucking alive. Here we go, Top Cooner saying, I'll tell us the best manager and the best team we have had. They didn't seem like George Graham team, the Finger team. Anthony Jungle Hunt, don't remember that. Alex, the kid game, flight simulators. Yeah, the flight simulators were all right, you know, but Donkey Kong, lads. Donkey Kong was a great fucking game, man. Donkey Kong. Couldn't beat it. Can't beat a bit of Donkey Kong. Fucking entertaining game. I think it was the PlayStation 2 a friend of mine had, and he left that to me, but he went on a summer holidays years ago, no, yeah? 20 years ago, longer. And he went on a summer holidays, and he left me have it, you know? And I was playing, like, the Formula 1 game. <laughs> Formula One game was okay. The Formula One game was decent. But yeah, that's basically it. Donkey Kong, guys. Fucking Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is what the missus calls my cock. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I was wondering when someone was going to say it. Yeah, when you're fucking smashing it in there, is it? <laughs> uh, excellent games, though, man. Donkey Kong. Fucking classics. You know, for the PlayStation, yeah. Donkey Kong, man. But sorry, no, for the, for the game, by I mean. Fuck, that takes me back, man. Oh, 
Ja, de gick i vagnen. Yeah, and you had a hammer, yeah. And you would hit a mallet, and you would hit the barrels with the mallet. Excellent game. Fuck, that takes me back. 1994. Jesus. Was that really 30 years ago? Fucking hell. Where did those 30 years go, man? Donkey Kong for the game, boy. Excellent game, man. Climbing the ladders, you know, and he had the board and he was lifting her up. Excellent games, man. Excellent. Metroid as well was a good one. I don't know if anyone remember Metroid for the PlayStation or not. The, why do I keep saying the PlayStation? But Metroid, yeah. Metroid was an excellent game. Not a huge fan of simulator games, more my sports games, retro games, or action-adventure games. Yeah, like, they're the ones you kind of play, yeah? Action-adventure. They're the kind of games you play on your channel as well, man, when you stream. <laughs> it's like a baby's leg, is it? Fucking hell. <laughs> She's a lucky woman. <laughs> it's like that, is it? You know what I mean? It's like fucking... She's a lucky lady, She's a lucky lady. Last game, and his kid got his hair cut. Mm. Donkey Kong was decent. Love the original Mario cartoon. Says Donkey Kong was cool, man. Metroid as well was one. But you know what games I like? Uh, Final Fantasy games were all right, man. Decent enough. Final Fantasy on the PlayStation. Final Fantasy were good enough, man. But the classics like Mortal Kombat, uh, Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. Excellent games. Excellent games. Mortal Kombat, boy. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was excellent. Fucking hell. Excellent. But you can't you can't beat it. You can't beat it if you actually go to like um like they have a lot of them in London, yeah, but I didn't go to many. But like if you go to an actual arcade, you know. With the arcade games, like the fucking arcades, their versions of like Street Fighter and stuff are fucking excellent, man. Like with the joy the buttons and a big screen, like, you know, their version is like the game is just for Street Fighter, you know, it's, do you know what I mean? The one fucking thing, man. The arcades, excellent, man. They have them in Japan, like they have huge areas of Tokyo, for example. I've never been, but I've seen it. They have huge areas like of Tokyo just for gaming. Like, the level of their games, yeah? like, the arcades that they have is fucking... The level of it is just unreal. The original Mortal Kombat quality. Fucking excellent. Excellent, man. Mortal Kombat. Excellent. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah? Fucking excellent games, man. Which one do I have on my phone, actually? I have a game on my phone, and it's absolutely legendary. I can't even remember the name of it now. Let me see. Where is it? The fuck is that game? I don't play it too often, obviously, as you can tell, guys, because I don't even know where it is. One second. No. 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 Oh, yeah, Streets of Rage. Do you remember that, yeah? Sega, Streets of Rage. I have that on my phone, yeah? I got Streets of Rage. That's not a bad game. It's from Sega, yeah? Streets of Rage. I have that on my phone. For the Sega Mega Drive, yeah? Streets of Rage 2. You remember that? For the Mega Drive, yeah? Streets of Rage 2.
It's 1992, yeah. Take a mega drive. See, streets are rage. Remember, streets are rage too, man. Eh? I got that on the phone there. Eh? It's meant to be a classic game, I think, by all accounts. People say it's a classic game, you know what I mean? Streets are rage, boy. But uh, Streets of Rage, by 1992. You were 15, is it? I was 12. <laughs> I was 12. I remember 1990, though, when like the World Cup was on in 1990. Ireland did okay, yeah? And I remember 1992, the Euros. I was out the back garden with my dad playing football. We were kicking the ball around. Yeah, good times, man. Out kicking the ball with my dad. Mortal Kombat was good. Chase HQ outrun. Did anyone have a Sega Dreamcast? No, I never had the Dreamcast. A Sega collection. I don't know from Sega. Like one night. Oh fuck! It was your birthday, yeah? Fuck! A lot of people have their birthdays at the moment. My niece has a birthday as well, coming up on the twenty fifth. And one of the lads here in Switzerland, his birthday is coming up as well. He's going to be 50 soon. I have to check the messages he sent me actually when his birthday is. So I have to drop him a fucking message. One second. When is his birthday actually? Ah, on Sunday. Uh, oh no, tomorrow. Tomorrow he's 50. Tomorrow he's 50. I better fucking remember to text the man or I'm fucked. Yeah, you're 50, Anthony. Yeah? Happy 50, bro. Happy 50, Anthony. Big up to Anthony, man. Happy 50 is. No, he's 50, bro. He's 50. Respect to Anthony, man. He's looking well for 50, bro. Look, come well for 50, Anthony, bro. Ah, oh, sorry. But is that plus tax? Is that with tax? No, Anthony. Is that plus tax, like, the tax? Did you pay the tax as well, Anthony? <laughs> plus tax, is it? I folks say. Plus tax. Yeah, happy birthday anyway, man. Happy belated birthday, yeah. Happy belated birthday, Anthony. Happy belated birthday, man. McManus, what time are you streaming at? What time are you gaming at? Tomb Raider, excellent, man. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, excellent, uh, excellent gameplay. Tomb Raider, excellent gameplay, man. The swimming part, you know, in and out of the fucking, you'd be swimming like fucking, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But Mike Manus, when are you gaming? When are you actually uh, streaming? I'll switch to Rage 1, 2, and 3 on a Sega collection. I don't know for the PlayStation. I'll do a Sega. Yeah, you should, man. Classic Sega night. That would be fun. Fucking Tomb Raider was a good game, at Lara Croft. AFC always. Yeah, boy. Ah, you're streaming at 11, huh? All right, 11 my time, huh? All right, man. AFC always. Yeah, boy. Great games. Die Hard Trilogy on PS1 was quality. Fuck, I never actually, I never saw those games actually. Die Hard. 
Yeah, three games, yeah, the trilogy, but that was on the PS1, yeah. Fuck that, I don't I don't remember that one. Ty McManus gaming starts streaming mania will start. Oh yeah, that's WrestleMania, right? WrestleMania. James Ball, that was a good game, man. Goldeneye was a good game. I know you're talking, I know you're talking AFC, bro. Goldeneye was a good game, bro. I think, though, you can't beat Mario Kart. Mario Kart is one of the best games I ever saw. Mario Kart, man. Have any of you tried, um, you know, with the PlayStation, when I had the PlayStation 4, like the VR, like you could hook up the virtual reality to it. Have any of you ever tried that? I'm sure I said it the last time about Resident Evil, yeah, the McManus. I was talking about Resident Evil, I think, when you were streaming the last time. But Resident Evil with the VR guys, with the virtual reality. I'm going to actually, when I get the PlayStation and stuff, I'm going to get the virtual reality headset again. And a couple of solid games, you know what I mean? I was in a store the other day, here actually, where I am. And there was like, uh, there was like FIFA 22, yeah? So obviously it was called FIFA back then, yeah, and two years ago. They had it 75% reduced. Don't ask me what the price was, yeah, but it was 75% off the FIFA from two years ago. That's not a bad price, buy. Reduced by 75%, lads. I know it's some two years ago, yeah, but fucking two years is not bad, man. And 75% off. New game, eh? You know what I mean? Not used. Not second-hand, eh? In the original packaging, like. Not second-hand, eh? New. Fucking 75% off. Dave and the chat are my bloodline. Ah, thanks, man. That's kind of you to say, eh? If you ever need to give me a buzz, man, you want to have a chat? If you ever feel the need, yeah, I do, man. Do you know what I mean? They even chat in my bloodline. What was it, Leslie? Yeah, the N64, yeah. Fucking excellent, man. The N64, man. I think the Super Nintendo was cool, though. The SNES. Mega Drive as well. Excellent. First PlayStation, you remember, like I said, the Formula One game, huh? It was pure, like, sketchy with the graphics, but it was fun because you could see the car going and you could actually go fast and race. It wasn't so bad, the graphics, huh? It wasn't so bad. That Formula One game. Wasn't so bad. N64 was quality. I miss my N64. I should never have sold it. So why don't you get it back? Like, I mean, on eBay or something. They have everything on eBay, man. Everything's on eBay, bro. You get fucking everything. Let me have a look. eBay. Get everything on eBay, man. Do you know what I mean? But did you ever think you'd go into those? Um, I was going to go to a few of them when I was in London, yeah, but... I never did in the end. I wish I had. Like those, um, the gaming markets in London, yeah, for example. But it's probably one where you are too, McManus. But even come up to London for a day, man, the gaming market. And you go there, they got fucking everything, man. I was going to go there a few times. I watched some of the YouTubers that actually, they go there, yeah, and they record what goes on. Excellent, man. The gaming markets, yeah, like in London, for example. Fucking hell by the stuff they have, yeah. The stuff they have. Where everything like modified, they've got a lot of Japanese uh, consoles. Like actually the Japanese version of the console. Yeah? They look unreal, man. The Japanese consoles, yeah, like compared to what comes to Europe or the States. The Japanese ones go for big money, man. The consoles. They look fucking hell. No, the original Japanese ones by excellent consoles. Yeah, like one of these gaming markets in one of these gaming markets in London, yeah. I don't know how much you'll be into that, Mac Manus, but I was gonna go when I was living in London, man. It's just crap, a bit of crack, a bit of fun, man. It's a bit of fun. You know what I mean? They've got everything under the sun there, man. You name it by they have it, you can lay your hands on it. They've got everything, man. Everything. They got like a million Game Boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? They've got everything, man. You name it, it's there. Serious level, man. Anyway. I think it was like five pounds entry. I mean, that's nothing. You just book it online beforehand. Go down. 
They might be hold you to that, my friend. Yeah, no bother, man. I mean it, though. You need to give me a buzz sometime, do, man. No bother. We can have a chat. Congrats, an easy win against Brighton, mate. Oh, pure easy, man. And congrats to you, too, man. Good win for Newcastle, eh? Good win away to Fulham. Good win away to Fulham. You must be happy, eh? Let's hope now United can do us, man. United do us a favour tomorrow, because we need it. We'll see, eh? But the way United are defending at the moment... But at home, maybe they're going to put up some resistance. Road rash on the mega drive and knocking people off their bikes. This is the guy now that rolls over everybody every game he plays. And my man is like, rolls over people the whole time. Or he rides the horse over them in the... Yeah, but I need an old TV to play it on. The old TV's got for silly money. Because mm. of the connections, like... The connections, right, you're talking about. Yeah, like the cabling. I like the Nintendo Wii, especially playing tennis, golf. Ah, the Wii was funny. I, would, I remember like there was loads of people getting injured with that at one time, yeah, because the you know the control you have in your hand, there's like a there's like a loop, like you attach it onto your wrist. You know what I mean? But it was actually flying out of people's hands and slapping people into the face, <laughs> like knocking them the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like you'd be like that with it, you know, and it would slip out of your hand, crack someone into the face. Knock them out. People are getting snapped in half. Dave, when you were younger, can you remember having one pound meter for a TV? I can't, but my grandmothers, they had that TV, yeah, and I used to call up there as a child. I was like maybe eight or nine. My dad's mother, yeah, and they had that TV, yeah, with the meter. You dropped the coins in. I think maybe when I was a child, my parents had one, I think I remember. But definitely my nan had one, yeah, my grandmother. She had like the, the jar on the side of it with the coins, you know, and they always used to go down to the local shop and get a lot of coins. Just, you know what I mean? Because your favourite show would, your favourite show would cut out in the middle of it. You know what I mean? If you hadn't chopped the coins in in time. I remember that. Yeah, I'd end up spending the rent money at one of those game markets. They're excellent, oh man. Once, once go there, bro. I wish I had when I was there, you know. I would have just went on my own, but fuck it, like, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, Jesus, I would have just went on my own, but fuck it, it's every Sunday, like. Not every Sunday, but it was a Sunday, you know what I mean, in London, man. Fucking decent, man, good fun. 17 likes, keep hitting the like button. Ah, 17 likes, Jesus, that's a lot. Thank you to everybody, yeah? And thank you as well to yourself, AFC. McManus as well, at the start of the stream, he had already dropped messages before I came on, yeah? Big up to Anthony as well, man, for his support. Yeah, the Wii was quality, yeah, but remember what I said, the, the controller would actually fly out of the hand. Fucking kill someone. <laughs> that was happening a lot in the States, because the amount of gamers there was like, you know, off the charts in the States. Uh, the fucking controllers are flying out of their hands and just knocking people out. <laughs> you take someone's head off, yeah. My son put a film on Blue Beetle, think it's a superhero movie. Yeah, Blue Beetle. Your man is in that. You know that clone that was in um, uh, Cobra Kai, but the TV series, you know, the TV series that that's going at the moment. Uh, I don't know how they're going to do another another season of it, but, you know, Cobra Kai with the teenagers, yeah, with the kids, um, the Mexican guy in that, uh, the Mexican guy in Cobra Kai, what's his name? Um, he gets paralyzed in it. But he's in Blue Beetle, yeah. Uh, because when I was in London, it was all over the buses. Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle. That guy from Cobra Kai, yeah, the new series with the teenagers. And LaRusso was now a man. And the other fellow's a man as well. Uh, Johnny. You know. Yeah. But the Cobra Kai series. And uh, Miguel. Miguel. Thank you, man. Thank you, McManus. Miguel is in Blue Beetle. Yeah? He's like the hero. If I won the lottery, I'd have a game and room and all the old games consoles. Yeah, man. You know what I always wanted to get for, like, maybe when I get into a new place again, just like, like, when I get my own gaff again, um, buy, like, the fucking actual, I know, I know you probably think I'm completely nuts, uh, but have, like, the actual arcade, you know, the actual machine itself from eBay, I get it delivered. It's going to cost 
a bit of money, you know, yeah. But have one of them there, yeah, whether it's like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, maybe. The actual arcade, you know, itself. That would be cool when people call around, like, they have, have a crack off it, you know what I mean? It'd be fun for them. You know, drinking, you're having a, a game or two, you know what I mean? That'd be fucking a novelty, man. People would like that. Be a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, Blue Beetle, yeah. Miguel is the hero in it, yeah, Blue Beetle. Yep, Miguel. Double Dragon. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that, man. Double Dragon. Double Dragon was decent, huh? Double Dragon was decent. Man is... Blue Beetle, man, Miguel. Cobra Kai's quality, Johnny Lawrence. It was funny, yeah. Uh, like it's the funny, you know, the character he plays, yeah, uh, when he's when he's in the series now. Like uh do you know what I mean? Or was it was it the hockey players? Then he just walked he just like was taking the piss out of them. And then he walked off and let LaRusso fight them all. Or when he beat up the guys outside the fucking gym, you know. And then the, the war he had with all of them, yeah. And Johnny's just like fucking crash and burn kind of guy, you know what I mean? Like he's driving a car with a load of empty cans in it. <laughs> he was always drinking. He was sleeping on the beach for a while. You know, his place was a dump. Whereas LaRusso had his own, like, car dealership. Do you know, fucking funny, man. Funny. Breaking news, kill a guy to start a new film called 29 is the shit. Jesus. I think I'll give that one a miss. Yes, the last series coming soon to Netflix. Ah, it is, yeah. The last season is coming soon, yeah. Hopefully before the 24th, uh, Anthony. Oh, well, I'll buy it for five five quid for the month. It's just got ads, but I could buy it for a fiver. Cobra Kai is quality, Johnny. It's fun. A bit of fun, you know what I mean? I'd love Time Crisis 2 Arcade Machine. I don't know that one, no, yeah. But like I said, to get the actual arcade, the console, yeah. Like, no, the arcade itself, like, in your room, you know what I mean? Like a gaming thing. Fucking excellent, man. You know, it's different level, man, when you're actually on the arcade. The screen and, the, you know, the original ones, man, like Street Fighter and shit, man. Beat em ups. Fucking different level, man. Different level. I don't think you ever like the ones where you can actually sit in the car, you know, with the screen, or be on the bike. They're a bit of fun, too, yeah. They're a bit of fun too. Please do I hear that song one more time? Just listen to a bit of music there, guys, at the same time. I remember Afterburner. That was a good game, eh? Afterburner. Afterburner. Yeah, fucking guys, I tell you. You have to say one thing, though. We're riding on the crest of a wave at the moment. Yeah. I think against Villa, maybe we might come unstuck. But the team are doing well right now. Uh, Unai Emery, Villa, that game is not to be missed. Um, I hope I'm not working. But... Um, you have to enjoy these moments now, guys, yeah, because we are riding on the crest of a wave. The team is riding on the crest of a wave. I mean, whether you're Arteta in, Arteta out, whatever, uh, whatever. Everyone's entitled to their opinions, this and that, and I respect everybody's. But the way the team are at the moment, uh, we're riding on the crest of a wave. Do you know what I mean? And we should all enjoy these moments uh, because... I don't want to say it the obvious, but only one team can be can be champions each season. Eh? I mean, and it's more competitive now than it's so competitive right now. I mean, the team are giving everything, guys. They're giving a hundred and ten percent out there. So, you know what I mean? Let's see what happens. Eh? Desert strike, excellent, fucking excellent. That's what I was going to say. Like, um, you know, those kind of games, eh? like Desert Strike, wasn't there a fucking wasn't that game excellent, actually? Um, the Lion King. Did you ever play The Lion King? Excellent game, man. With, like, Simba. <laughs> excellent game, man. Excellent. 
uh, the Lion King, man. That was a good game. Lion King, there was a lot of money put into that, yeah, because it was like... The Lion King, there was a lot of money put in because, of course, it was like reflective of the franchise. You know what I mean? Like the game had to be of a certain level when the movie came from Disney, I think, wasn't it? The Lion King game was decent, man. Decent game. You're like Simba. You know what I mean? That was a cool game. Wasn't thinking a game as well? Fucking what is it? Tarzan. Wasn't that a game as well? The Tarzan game. Fuck's sake, this fucking fan base is a joke. Say 29 is one of the best signings and the source to be player of the season. He's scoring a couple of goals for us, bro. But he needs to score. He needs to score like fucking uh, 65. Like I said, he was 65 million, right? He needs to score 65 goals. Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the greatest games of all time. Not the Lion King, but I played Outrun on the Mega Drive. Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the greatest games of all time. Of all time. That game is like Mario Kart this and that is thing, yeah. But Sonic the Hedgehog. What about Hitman? Did anyone ever play Hitman? You know that game, yeah? Hitman. Obviously, Hitman 1, Hitman 2. You play the Hitman games. I think there was movies of them as well, yeah. Crash Bandicoot. A lot of people liked it. I don't think I ever played it. But it's got a it's got a good name, yeah. It's got a good name. Crash Bandicoot. But yeah, did anyone ever play the Hitman games? I got a couple of shooter games on the... I've got a MacBook here. Yeah. I've got a MacBook here. And I've got a couple of shooter games on it, like zombie ones and stuff. They're okay. I mean, basically, you're just in a place and you're defending it against the zombies. And you've got a rifle, yeah, like with sights. And you're pum, pum, pum. Got a couple of uh, Need for Speed games. Uh, Need for Speed here on the place. Here on my laptop, I've got Need for Speed. Need for Speed is all right. You know, those kind of games, yeah. But the thing is, they're too easy. There's no difficulty rating in the some of the games on the laptops, uh, like Need for Speed. All you have to do to win is keep the car on the track. And you go through the nitrous oxide, you know, you pick up the nitro, boost, press the button, boost, and you're away. The games are very easy, because all you have to do is keep it on the track. All you have to do is keep the car on the track. Do you know what I mean? So they're easy, they're easy, man. They're a bit too easy, you know. Sims, I don't know, I don't ever play The Sims. I don't want to be my cup of tea, but I remember my ex was playing that for a while, The Sims. Now you build a whole life and a world for yourself and stuff. I want to be my cup of tea, to be honest. You know, um, Moss, yeah. Um, fucking, um, Sasuke Gunner, yeah. Sasuke Gunner, Moss Sports World. The Canadian Football Association have made uh, Frank Lampard one of the contenders for the national job. So Frank Lampard has been made a contender to be um to become possibly the manager of the Canadian football team. Lampard could be the manager of the Canadian football team. And everyone is there like, oh no, please God no. <laughs> Once he doesn't come near the Irish team, it's grand anyway, for God's sake. We've got our own problems. We've got John O'Shea at the moment, but we need we need a we need a replacement. But God please no. Please God no, not him. I miss my 360. Never played so. 
any good. I never had an Xbox actually. I never had an Xbox. What's the one called? Oh, the Xbox 360. Yeah, the game saw, but what, what's the one called? No, I know I keep saying it. It's the PS5. And which is the Xbox one now? It's not the Xbox 360, right? Which is the newest Xbox? The one that they brought out to compete with the PS5. Uh, S-Box Series X. Wasn't it? Series X. Uh. Uh, the Xbox One. That's what it was, bro. Good one, Anthony. That's what it was, man. The Xbox One. Yeah. I thought it was the Xbox uh, Series X. Xbox One. Yeah. Xbox One X. Yeah. They, give, they brought, like, the Series X models. Uh. Xbox One. Yeah. Uh. Fucking, it's meant to be an excellent console, though. Excellent console. But that's Microsoft, is it? Like, it's Sony PlayStation. Obviously, everyone knows that. Yeah, it's a Sony PlayStation, the PS5. But Xbox is Microsoft, is it? Obviously, they know a thing or two. Yeah, Microsoft, Xbox. Fucking top-notch, man. Top-notch. Sorry, Xbox Series X, Xbox One Series X, Xbox One Series XX, Triple X. Yeah, Microsoft, man. So they are fucking, they are on it, man. Microsoft are on it. They know what time it is, by Microsoft know what time it is. Quality, man. Quality. That's all there is about it. Do you know what I mean? Par excellence. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream, guys. But thank you to everyone. Yeah, it's, I was going to wrap it up at three hours, and now I know it's almost four. But yeah, thank you to everybody. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for your support. Fantastic win for the team. Um, and yeah, Anthony, be cool, yeah, man. Take it easy. Yeah, thank you to Anthony for your support. Um. Thank you to AFC always. Buy one online, fave. That's my name, fave. But yeah, maybe I will. Now I got a job and stuff, you know. But yeah, big up, guys. Huh? Big up. And maybe I could buy the PlayStation 5 anyway I want to get, but I could buy the Xbox too and just have it there. But yeah, big up, guys. Yeah? Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Yeah? And um, yeah, see you next time. Yeah? And take it easy. I might do a stream tomorrow of the uh, United Liverpool game. I'll see. But thanks for your support. Yeah? You know how to get into contact with me anyway, lads. No bother. And McManus, I'll see you on your stream soon. Yeah? And take it easy, guys. Yeah? Dave the Shave. You know what I mean? Fave the Shave. Fave Dave. You know what I mean? But big up to yourselves, guys. Yeah? And thanks for your support. And um, AFC, take care of yourself, man. I mean that. Yeah? For obvious reasons. Yeah? Take care, AFC, bro. Anthony. Thanks for joining in, man. McManus, as always. Thanks for joining the stream. Dave Great Show, as always. Keep the good work. Happy. Yeah, you can manage to get a job, man. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie, man. I had a Monday, you know, and I got to go get my work permit and open a bank account as well before I start work. And I got to fucking organize health insurance. Because it's illegal to work in Switzerland without health insurance. So you need to have your own private health insurance. Costs. But they pay you, you know. Just at the beginning, they pay you, yeah, so every month is like, do you know what I mean? And if you want a certain amount of money in Switzerland, you get like a rebate, then yeah, you get like money back. You get reduced rate, yeah. and also like you get like a reduced rate on a gym membership because that's part of the health insurance. Yeah. Like if you take out a gym membership straight away, you're healthier and that's good for the, for the health insurance company. So they give you like a reduction, which is a good thing, right? All right, guys. Take it easy, yeah? See you next time. Sort that hair out, Fave, before you start. There's nothing wrong with my hair. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I'll, have it, I'll go over it again tomorrow at the back, yeah? I'll, I'll... Do you know what I mean? I'll go over it tomorrow at the back. All right. Anyway, thanks for the heads up that I look like fucking... Uh, 
a fucking Neanderthal. <laughs> All right. There's a guy with a dodgy haircut on aisle three. All right. See you later, guys. Going to go live in about 10 minutes. Huh? You're going live in 10 minutes? Thought it was an hour. Have you noticed now since Dave got a job, he stopped asking for super chats? Uh, I still ask, but fuck it. It's not the most important thing, yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah, no, I'm in the money, is it? Dave is fucking rolling, man. He's a high roller. I'm a high roller now, lads. I'm a high roller. All I need are your likes and your, your chats, guys. Keeping me company on my channel is the main thing, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go, yeah. Otherwise, I'll be talking for another hour. See you soon, guys, and thank you to everyone for your support, yeah. And take care, guys. And maybe see you on McManus's channel, yeah. Peace.